We have reached our final nine. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks yeah. at the Poker Go Studio. Brent, our final table is set at the World Series of Poker Super Circuit Series main event. My goodness, Jeff. Huge names Ooh. at this final table. I can't wait to get to that. Ooh, that's a good tease. More on that in just a little bit. But Brent, first, what do you say? We break down the numbers for this record numbers, setting guy. main event. What was the guarantee for this one? Couple, couple million bucks? Jeff, the guarantee was $5, five million. In the five dollars. Ball. All right. And that guarantee smashed. Blown, Blown out. out of yeah. the water. $7,248,000 in that prize pool. How many entries would that be, Mr. Hanks, since you right. are the numbers guy? 14,496 mm. entries. However, 5,159 uniques. Just checked it. You did nail it. On I the nailed it. That's what you yeah. do. 2,064 players made it to day two. Mm. 1,500 players made the money. The min cash, $1,357. The top nine guaranteed, $75,843. And Brent, what does that make our first place prize? About 10 times that Ooh. amount, Jeff. First place, $758,443. 291 players direct satellite in. 231 made the money. That is impressive. Rishmog, I nailed that name, right? Rishmog. Rishmog, Rishmog yeah. finished in 26 for $14,000. Now 14 players sub-satellited in, took that extra step. 10 made the money, best result. How about our guy, Art Hong, 132nd for $6,400. Some run good for being mentioned by us. Yes. Absolutely, the Art Thong, uh-huh. It's, it's Art Hong, mm -hmm. yeah. Two players still in using the staking feature. We got Noxukao was selling 12%, mm. but nobody bought action. Why is that the final table? Egyptian, plenty of people bought action there. 20% sold to five stakers. 213 stakers made money betting on their favorite players. And Brent, as we take a look at the overall numbers for the World Series of Poker Super yeah. Circuit Series, how much in, in prize money did Gigi give out during the series? You ready for this one? I think so. How about more than $104 million Ooh. awarded? That is absolutely absurd. A little bit of overlay in some tournaments to the oh. tune of $667,000. Oh. How many total entries? How about almost 800 Thousand. The largest field in this one came in the Big 25 with more than 60,000 entries. And Brent, hit me with that prize pool, the biggest prize pool of the series for the main, which was how much? $7.2 million in change, Jeff. Ooh, my God. Now we followed the action over day two. Here are a couple of the notable hands. Brent, why don't you lead us off with this one? How does this one start? You're coming to me? Yeah, you, you start. I just Great. want to mix okay, it up a little so bit. How player, does it start? Uh, R-T-Y-F-G-H-C-V-B, mm. yep. that's an easy one to say. Yeah, I'll repeat that. R-T-Y-F-G-H-C-V-B, gonna it. go ahead and raise it up pre-flop, Jeff, kick it up. What okay. does what does not today bro do in the small blind? Oh, well that one's easy. Not yeah. today bro, elects to just rip it, all of it, all you can eat, and then get in your Acura, Kevin. Calls it off from the big blind, Jeff. R-T-Y-F-G-C-H-V-B. <laughs> Nailed it. Folds yep. is pained by the fold. Mm. However, take a look at this run yeah. out, Jeff. My goodness gracious. Bring it's, us in. It's a decent flop for Acura Kevin. Flops a pair of eights. It's mm. a decent turn for oh. Acura Kevin as he turns trip baits. The river, not so decent. Or should I say, not today, bro. You I see it? what you did there. Name. Back in your Acura Kevin. Oh, that was good too. Mm. All right, let's check out our next hand. It folds around to the small blind where we find Brent David Misikowski. I legend. love Misikowski. Donk committed, an online legend, bracelet winner, Jeff. This guy's good. He limps in in the small blind mm. with the 7-3 off. Knocks the cow, checks with the ace deuce. The flop comes ace 10-4. Misikowski leads for 800K here. Yeah, leads like 800K. It? I like this. Okay. How about the turn, Jeff? The turn's a queen. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and bet hefty on the turn nothing but a pure bluff we're targeting a 10 we're really trying to get a fold here uh-oh that's three million and does get called the river brings the king and misikowski is not done yet with just seven high brent firing mm. 6.8 million absolutely nothing but seven high four to a straight again jeff we're targeting a one pair sort of hand he's got his opponent pig right on an ace you can we it. get him to fold i love it I you love, love it. the bluff Come on. it it didn't work noxical made the call but you can't win them all mm -hmm. maybe these two will do battle at the final table mm. All right, Brent, for this next one, what do you say we check out one of the best in the game? Nicholas Aztet, Lena 900. Oh, Lena. And by the way, 
the best, not one oh, of the best, oh, the best the online best. tournament player in the world, Jeff. Excuse me, he's in the big blinds here with the 10-8, he defends. The flop comes King Jack 7 with two spades. Mm. How about a little check raise here from the best? I like this, Jeff. We got the 10 of spades in our hand. We've got the gutter. Come on, man. Put him to the test. Let's go. Makes it 1.3 million. Zizu does make the call. The turn mm. brings the 6 of spades, and Lena goes rip. City. Rip City picks up a little spade equity. Mm -hmm. Again, we've got that gutter. Maybe we can get a jack to fold. Maybe we can get an ace-10, ace-queen sort of holding to fold, Jeff. However, uh-oh. Yeah, ace-king with the king of spades probably not going to fold. But you know what? It is no problem at all because on the river, it's the nine of hearts for the best. Buries the biscuits. That's how the best gets it done. And now, Brent, let us check out our final table leaderboard. Nicholas Aztec, the chip leader with more than 149 million in chips. AOT Man won 888 in second. SSSS AK in third. F Spielman in oh, fourth. Freddy Spielman, PGA Tour, Jeff. No, it's Fabian Spielman, and that's Freddy Couples that you're thinking of, or maybe Kevin Streelman. Meanwhile, in fifth place, it's Promo King in sixth. How about this? Patrick Tardif, Egyptian, yeah. has made the final table. Seventh, Freedom at 35. Natsakal in eighth. And David Misikowski rounds out our final table. So we'll cover all the final tables, of course, during our Cards Up coverage on Saturday. But for now, let's briefly discuss Lena. Nicholas Aztec comes in as the chip leader, and that's not good for the rest of the field. It's terrible news for the rest of the field. You can lock up a top three finish wow. for Lena. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed, going to happen. Lena, $1.1 million in live earnings, more than $20 million Ooh. Ooh. online. He is the best online No Limit Hold'em tournament player in the world, Jeff. This is not a debate. How about GG Squad member Patrick Tardif? Egyptian is in the mix, and that's good for the, for the fans, huh? Oh, I would say so, huh? What a, what a streamer out there. Yeah. I love the attitude. He's going to wear some ridiculous hoodie. I just know it. Let's hear from him as we approach this final table. All right, guys, GG's. Congrats on making the final table. I look forward to seeing Lena being like 2.0 to win the whole thing on the final table betting. But yeah, take care, guys. See you guys Saturday. Fucking Christ. Holy shit. We actually made the final table. Holy fuck. It's so fucked. Holy shit. Brent, what do you say we get to some tweets of the day using the hashtag WSOPCME? All right, we start with rpizzle72. What? It's hashtag WSOPCME, Jeff. Is that what I said? See me, Jeff. See me. Hashtag WSOPCME. How about this from rpizzle77? says, after losing flips for heaps slash infinite equity deep in the hashtag WSOPCME. That's it. At GG Poker yesterday, something had to be done. Let's just say I expect to win my flips today. Did he? Did he just change his avatar to Egyptian? He did. Yeah. Did it work? You think that brings him some run good? Has to. Okay, you take the next one after a nice, nice run from Kosei Ichinose. Here's what he had to say. You take it. You take this one. This one's you. Jeff, I, I have no idea what that says. Hashtag. I Hashtag WSOP, see me, yes. Jeff, yes. see me. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Right. And then finally, we go to GG Twitch squad member Kevin Martin. And mm. this is quite the spot for Kmart here. Well, uh, it, you would think so normally, yeah. Jeff. However, let's take a look here. Okay. Good luck. Wow, overcall. Don't be, fuck, nine. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Come on, diamond. Oh! Oh! I scoop it all. Woo! Hoo -hoo. How about that from Kevin Martin? Getting the job done. Never a doubt. There it is. Congratulations to everybody who participated in this one. Join us for Cards Up final table coverage of the World Series of Poker Super Circuit Series main event. That final table is on Saturday. What time? That'll be 2 p.m. Eastern, Kay. 6 p.m. GMT. Ooh, good time zone calculation.
by you. Good luck to all the final tableists. They will all receive loads of cash. Only one will earn that World Series of Poker circuit ring and the induction into Team Champions. All right, day two of the 525 main event. All right, massive one here in the 525 main. Ace is up against Kings. It's a cooler. Better fade Kings and Queens. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Opening up here with the Jacks. Freshly in the money. Lost the small one there to WYC there. His ace king was good against my king three. He sends it. We're going to try to get our money back here. Okay. I mean, we're playing for stacks. Good luck, us. Got to beat eights. Prime. I mean, if eights for the main. Oh, my God. How about just a jack for all of it? So we got to fade aces and threes. Let's go. Sheesh. Just give me it all, huh? Just give me it all. Huh? We're going to be all in here with the ace three suited. Uh, we just got a pay jump. We've locked up 6,400 so far, but we, we know we want more. Next pay jump's at 113 players, so fuck me. Ugh. That's not good. Sheesh. Ace. Oh no, it's lagging. Five. Five earn ace. Oh my god, don't tease me. <gasps> it's a five because the force fits <laughs> something. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, let's go. I see you start the fucking chat talking about something random. <laughs> and it just... Oh, of course we get a massive pop here. Alright. <sighs> Fuck me. All in a call on the outer table. Jack-10 versus Ace-King. We're rooting for Ace-King because if he busts, we get a pay jump. And we can play this hand pretty carefree. See if we can call here. That's a really good fucking turn. All right. Jack 10 doubles up, which is whatever. Reg loses chips. We have trips. We lose to 8 5, king 8, fives. I guess he can solve kings too. Most people don't have the heart to teal it, though, at this point of the tournament. Famo. Let's fucking go. Inspired by Alina. Queens versus nines. He gets a nines. We're down to 17. Someone from the other table is going to get moved to our table. We're down to 12. Three away from final table. Well, it's been fun. But sometimes good things must come to an end. I'm just going to send it because the other table I don't think is going to have an all-in before me. If there's ever a time 
for Lena to lose a fucking pot. How about fuck it now? Woo! Sheesh! Let's fucking go. Oh. Holy shit, we actually made the final table. Holy fuck. It is the biggest turnout for a World Series of Poker Circuit main event. And not only does a win come with a World Series of Poker Circuit ring, not only does a win come with more than $758,000, but it also will mark the first induction into Team Champion. Speaking of champions, he's Brent Hanks. I'm Jeff Platt. That, oh. that doesn't really work. That, that doesn't work, does it? Thank you, Jeff. Well, thank you all so much for being with us, Brent. Just a guess. You are looking forward to this one with more than $758,000 up top. Just astonishing, Jeff. I mean, a 500 and change dollar buy-in, <laughs> the size of this guarantee, $5 million, and someone's going to walk away with nearly $800,000. Incredible. Hey, you know how we like to, to start things off here with a little bit of gamble. Just get a, just, oh. just a little bit of gamble. Let's kick oh, things yeah. off with our final table betting because that will close at the top of the hour and brent take a look at this nicholas aztec lena 900 one of the best in the game just a massive favorite today he certainly is in the odds about 2.6 to 1 on your money uh, boy jeff i mean you know i love to do a little bit of betting I, yes you do how can i pass up on the guy at the bottom how can i pass up on 22 to 1 with david mizikowski huh I you mean, mentioned, that's, I love you mentioned this guy. his name a couple times, right? A little bit of an oh. old school legend. Yeah, old school legend. He's a stud. He actually has won the Super Millions here on GG. This guy, can, if he doubles up, if he doubles up, mm. watch out. I'm telling you, he's going to make a run for this thing. Okay, Ms. Sikowski has a shot at this one. You see their chip counts right by their name. So as we run down this list, decimal system for betting, Brent, so you can convert it for all of us stupid Americans. So Aztec, probably a little less. Uh, than a two to one favorite in, in American odds. AOT Man 1888 has about 105 million in chips. Promo King is right there. Fabian Spielman is right there, Brent. Go Freddy. to F Spielman. Yeah, Fabian. Freddy Spielman, Jeff, it's, huh? I don't, I don't know where you're getting that from. It's, it's Fabian Spielman with more than 93 million in chips. And Brent, it's the first time we'll mention his name, but it's not going to be the last. Patrick Tardif. Egyptian is here at the final table. He's trying to bring it home for Canada, Jeff. By the way, first place in this thing, that's a million dollars, Canadian bucks. Oh, uh, looking for seven figures point. up north. That is a good point. Hey, as we continue to run down this final table betting list, if you're in the chat right now, say hi to us because, you know, we would appreciate it. It's just good to be back. But also let us know who you are firing on in that GG client as far as final table betting is concerned. Now, this is interesting, Brent. Egyptian, a bigger favorite than SSSSSS, AK. SSSSS, AK has almost 40 million more in chips. AK, I think I'm going to go that round. Huh? That, yeah. that might be good. That might be good. Egyptian's uh, a fan favorite. That makes yeah, sense to me. You know, yeah. he's a GG squad member. This just makes sense to me. He's going to get all the money on him, a little bit less than nine to one on your money. If you want to fire on the fan favorite, it is GG squad member Egyptian. He is in the mix here at the World Series of Poker Circuit main event final table. All right, rounding out this final table betting list, we have Naxical at about 48 million in chips. We have Freedom 35 also at about 48 million in chips. And then Brent, it looks like a pretty popular Miss Sikowski. I mean, more than 200 people should have be. bet on him. The third most popular player at the final table. Uh, it should be. I can't say enough about this guy. He's he's so, so talented at poker. It's so, it's difficult, right, when you've got Lena as the chip yeah. leader yeah. with all the money. I mean, it, he's unstoppable. I've said it before. I'll continue to say it again. He is the best online No Limit Hold'em tournament player in the world. And it, I, I really, I really believe that. I don't think it's that close. That is a strong statement, but it is very, very hard to argue that very point. Daniel, I have money on Egyptian. Barack, caught Lena at 3.0. Pat, I'm all in on Lena. My last $140 is 
LFG. Yeah, let's do it. Ron has Egyptian. Cameron has Egyptian. Let us see who the GG squad has selected. Let's have the GG squad run down their final table betting selection. Patrick Tardif, Egyptian. Final table, the 525 main tomorrow. He's guaranteed $75,800, sitting seventh in chips. Has 30 big blinds. We're gonna check out the final table betting. I'm gonna invest into two players, Lena and Patrick. I'm gonna put $50 on Lena, and I'm gonna put 50 bucks on Patrick, because one of them is winning. So, you know, if Patrick, God forbid, doesn't win, at least I get a 2.7x from Lena. And if Patrick does win, I'm just rolling in it. So there you go, 50 bucks on Patrick and Lena. It is time. The main event of the WSOPC 5 million guarantee is going down this Saturday. I wanted to be there. I had dreams where I woke up and was going to be at that final table. Alas, I got 332nd or something. Not really that close. A decent run. But, thankfully, our hands are in good condition here because our man, the young superstar, Egyptian, GG sponsored pro, this man has made so many big final tables this year. And here he is once again at the final table with 30 big blinds. I'm emotionally invested. He's a good friend of mine. And I'm about to be financially invested. Thank you to the GG Poker functionality here. We can gamble on people at the final table. Look at this. I mean, the heart wants what it wants. Egyptian, plus 850 to win. Sure, good enough. I'll take that. I'll take that. $50 minimum bet up to three grand. Wow, how much do I believe in Egyptian? I believe in Egyptian for $100. Go on, young man. Good luck to you. I am on the team. I'm in. I'm hoping to win 950, and I hope Egyptian wins 758,000 gonna be a great final table streamed on the GG poker YouTube channel if you want to watch it's going down this Saturday let's go Egyptian buddy we're cheering for you this is gonna be a sick one the WSOPC main event Egyptian on the final table gonna be streaming it that's gonna be fun to watch hard for me to want to bet against him and really good odds on betting for him so my picks to bet would be Egyptian and also F Spielman, who I've played a bit of cash with. He seems like a good enough player and also getting a nice price. Uh, Nicholas Astet, aka Lena, is the chip leader, but I don't really like only getting 2.7 to 1. He's obviously the big favorite, but I would go for the other two boys. All right, Brent, there you go. You think there's any bias there? As Alan Pav has Egyptian, Kevin Martin has Egyptian, Kaki T has Egyptian. I think they have to pick Egyptian. Isn't that part of the deal? They That's always have to choose their guy, deal. you know. What? You stay loyal to the soil. Bit of a homer like there. I and like that it. one I'll... guy on Misikowski, I'm a little disappointed. I hope I hope Misikowski makes him pay, Jeff. All right, you guys have about three minutes. Make it two minutes left to get in your final table picks. All in Pav also firing on Lena. Kevin Martin, you heard his his hopes, his dreams. We were watching him on Twitch. Made a pretty decent run at it. Also going That's with it. Egyptian. And then Khaki T. Brent has your guy, F. Spielman. How about that? Oh, Khaki knows. Freddie's in there. Khaki knows. He's played a little bit of cash with Mr. Spielman. Continue to let us know in the chat who you all have selected as we wind down the time that you can get your final table bets in. And Brent, I believe you are pretty set on Misikowski. You see good value on him around that 20 yeah, to 1 I'm range. Gonna, I mean, can I go two, Jeff? Am I allowed yeah, to pick you, two? Yeah, we'll let you have it. We'll let you have it. All two. right, let me join the always energetic one, Khaki T. I'm okay. going to go on Freddie, and I'm going to go on Misikowski. So I want a unit on okay. each of those against you. Okay, that's it is Fabian Spielman, though. But yes, what you I have said. a unit. We are booked. You have Fabian, and you also have Misikowski. That's going to cost me a lot if Misikowski does find a win. You want to hear who I'm going to take against you? You uh, ready? Yes. You ready to book this one? Uh, yeah. Give me Egyptian. Give me Egyptian. Give me I know Egyptian. you're going Egyptian. I know you're going. You want Lena while you're at it? You're going to take two? 
Yeah, give me Lena. Give me Lena. Give Lena. Me, All right, there we go. Give me Nicholas Astor and go. give me Patrick Tardif. And with that, our final table betting is closed. A lot of Lena love in the chat, followed up by a lot of Egyptian love in the chat. Cannot wait to see how this final table will play out. But how did we get here? Take a look at your World Series of Poker Circuit main event details. And Brent, we expected a massive turnout, but how about this? How about 14,496 entries? What does that make our prize pool, Mr. Hanks? That's remarkable, Jeff. Well, it's right there, 7.2 7 million in change. You can see first mm. place pay, 758,000. Ninth place, uh, about 10 times less, $75,000. All the money, of course, towards the top. Uh, I mean, this is life changing yeah. for whoever's it, gonna take this thing down. It really is absurd. First place is worth 1,444 buy-ins, which is absolutely ridiculous. 1,500 players made the money, the min cash, $1,357, all the way to that first place prize that Brent mentioned, more than 758,000 dollars. Who made it through the satellite? and who made a deep run in day two. Brent, what a showing overall for our satellite winners. 291 direct satellite qualifiers. How about 231 in the money? That's unheard of, yeah. right? I mean, you're looking at an 80% clip. If you satellite oh. it in, you made the money. Look at the sub-satellites down below. You're talking about your micros, your three and $5 subs. 10 of the 14 have made the money. That's one hell of a parlay. So they turned three or five dollars into at least 1300 bucks. That is absurd. The best results as far as our satellite qualifiers are concerned. Rishmog in at 26th place for almost $14,000. And Brent, it's our guy Art Hong, 132nd place for $6,430. Oh, yeah. The thong, man. I mean, that's it's awesome, man. Five Art bucks into 6430 for the thong. Art Hong. Yes notable players let's take a look we had plenty of big names make a pretty deep run in today too how about kose ichinose brent we had we had gravy boat ludovic gylic luda ludo it's still ludo uh d velosovich had a massive chip lead going into day two finishes in 63rd for nine thousand four hundred eighty eight dollars how about daniel devoris how about so sick pavel streamer our guy, Kevin Martin, we mentioned his run 339th. And Brent, it looks like the champ was here for a little bit. Oh, the champ stuck around, huh? Ryan Reese making a little run at this sucker. Finished 823rd for $1,758. On to our second slide of notable players. There were that many notables, couldn't fit them all in. Yeah, it's Anatoly Filatov finishing in 826th place. All in Pav made a run. Steve O'Dwyer in the mix. Rotterdam finished in 1,270th, perhaps busted with the pocket fours. And Brent, the bubble boy, the big slice. Oh, the big slice. He's going to need a big something, maybe a big cocktail after bubbling this thing. Yeah. Uh, never feels good to be the bubble boy, Jeff. I'm sure you've done that a handful oh, of times. Oh, yes, yes, career. yes. And yeah. yes, yeah, career is a, yes, a strong word, the big slice out on the bubble all right brent we encourage people over the last couple weeks to chime in on social to tag us you're at buffalo hanks i'm at jeff platt we are at gg poker and use that hashtag and tell me one more time is it is it hashtag wsopcme yeah unbelievable unbelievable yeah. you yeah. haven't gotten this straight for wsopc me jeff please me. show us can you prove to us that you can get this right hashtag wsop See me That's because it. circuit main event, but also see me because we want to follow along with your journey. Let's take a look at some of those highlights from hashtag WSOP CME. And Brent, I loved going over this when we had a uh, RPL on Twitter announces change in avatars that he, he thought he was kind of running bad, right? And he thought he wasn't running great in the WSOP C main event. So he decides to switch his avatar to Egyptian. That's not a bad strategy, yeah? Well, I mean, clearly it worked out for the real Egyptian. Uh, you got to try something. 
you know, yeah. switch the run good, change the avatar, yeah. whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah, and we've had some awesome hands. So we encourage you to go back on ggpoker.tv. We encourage you to go back to GG Poker on Twitter. Follow GG on Twitter, Brent. I feel like you never know what's coming from the good people at GG, and perhaps some giveaways are involved. I'm just saying, follow them on giving Twitter. Giving away everything. Follow I mean, every time Instagram. I load Twitter, they're giving away tickets, giving right. away money here and there. Yeah. Are, are you giving away anything on Twitter or not? I don't have anything left to give yeah. away, Jeff. All right. No. I, I gave everything I had a long, long time ago. That Poker After Dark sign behind you looks nice, though. You like that, huh? Looks sleek. You like Poker that? I dark. stole it. Did you really? That doesn't. No, it, Maury, Maury Eskandani gave it to me because we weren't. It's a real prop from the set of Poker After Dark. Wow. That does yeah. look pretty sick. Poker After Dark brought to you by our friends at GG Poker. All right. Let's do this. If we have the WSOP CME highlights, we'll take a look at those. If not, all good because we caught up with our guy, Patrick Tardif, Egyptian. There's that tweet that I was mentioning, Brent, from RPW7 after losing flips for heaps for infinite equity deep in the hashtag WSOPC me on GG yesterday. Something had to be done. And let's just say I expect to win my flips today. There is the avatar change to Egyptian and Brent. That is oh so pretty. And how about this hand with your guy, Misakowski, taking on Noxical, blind versus oh. blind. Wait till you see this thing. Miss a cow, fired flop, fired turn, and is going to fire yeah. river with 10 million in the pot. You know I love blind million. on yep. blind battles, yep. Jeff, and here's why, a great example. Knocks a cow, thinking, call. thinking, makes the call. Miss Akowski with just the seven three. No pair, no draw. All the heart, though, Jeff. All the heart for Misikowski. Just going oh. ham. Brent, here was not today, bro. Going Rip City with the King Queen against Acura Kevin. And a pretty good flop for Acura Kevin, I must say. A better turn for Acura Kevin. But not today, bro. Finds it. Squeezes oh, it. Spikes it the is. jack ball on the river. What'd you tell Kevin to do after this? Well, Kevin, get in your Acura. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That get out good. of here. That was good. That was good. Very, very, Patrick very. Tardif. Uh, also go very by the good. alias All right, Egyptian, your turn of you with uh, Egyptian. On the uh, Poker Felts. I'm 29 years old, and I am a full-time Twitch streamer, uh, and I stream poker. Uh, I've streamed my poker journey uh, playing full-time since uh, January of 2017, and it's uh, it's been a journey. It's uh, It's been fun. Uh, I've, you know, showcased my all my struggles, all my hardships, and all my successes um, through Twitch. And you know, we've climbed the ranks. We've um, risen to what what appears to be near the top. I mean, we're not there yet, but uh, we're climbing. We're battling, and um, hoping the WSOPC main will be the the next step to add to the legacy. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've been graced with the opportunity of many once in a lifetime opportunities. I mean, I got ninth in a w, the WSOP 5K 6 Max. I final tabled a $2,600 buy in tournament that had a million for first. And the biggest one was the Battle of Malta main event that we final tabled in November. And we finished seventh. I mean, at this point, I, I, I've, I've had quite a few close calls and I've had, you know, I've had some successes along the way. And I feel like. Every tournament and every time I've had these opportunities, it's just more experience that just adds to um, my abilities and adds to my capabilities. And I feel like going into this one, I, I feel pretty experienced and I feel pretty ready. I I've been there, I know what it's like to play for this amount of money. I know how it feels. Um, and with prior preparations before and preparing for it this time, it, it, it just sort of feels like, you know, third time, fourth time's the charm to, uh, uh, hit the home run here. I think it, I think it would mean a lot for me in terms of my poker career and my legacy. I, I feel like I've had a lot of success. You know, I've had a couple very strong results, but I haven't I haven't won any of these major tournaments outright. You know, some of my some of my biggest results are getting second. Uh, I got second in a WPT side event for two hundred and twelve thousand. I got second in the Sunday Million 
You know, a lot of my results aren't wins. They're, you know, final tables, good results, but they're not the W. Um, I think it would mean a lot for me to eventually just get that that insane score, that life-changing money score, and just have a W on the, on the record. Get, get it out of the way. You know, looking at the final table, the ones to watch out for, it, it's it's pretty hard to not, you know, start with the, the clear-cut answer. It's uh, Nicholas Asted, one of the try to drew probably one of the best you know especially in the last decade online poker players so i think you know he, he's probably the, you know the number one person to look out for go figure he's chip lead as well i think a, a lot of the other players i'm pretty unfamiliar with promo king i battled with a, a fair amount the final two final couple tables um he's he proved to be uh, quite the adversary uh, i think yeah i think what's interesting about this final table is there's a fair amount of people i'm a little bit more unknown to and especially given they were on other tables going into this final table I'll, I'll have next to no experience going uh, going up against them. I think when choosing who I'd, I'd like to play heads up against, I'd like to play heads up against the worst player. Um, I, if, 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 if I had to choose, we're going to go with the worst player, whoever plays the, the most passive, they're perfect. Because that's, that, those are the easiest people to beat. I think in terms of like, you know, dream person to beat, if I knew I was going to win, you got to go with Lena. It's like, uh, you know, if you, you want to beat the best player to take the trophy it feels a little bit more validating um, but i think if we're going to look realistically if i'm going to be dead honest with you whoever the worst player is going to be on that given day that's who i want to probably play heads up yeah in terms of preparations going into the final table i think overall pretty lax doing as much studying and theory crafting as possible in terms of situations that can arise um, reviewing other final tables in the past, maybe with some of my opponents, maybe just like similar structures, similar stack depths. Just try to get a feel of like what sort of situations can arise, and you know how do we combat it? What are the what are the appropriate responses? But I think I think with spots like this, I try not to get too into the you know what ifs. Try to stay more in the moment and just stay calm and realize you know it's just another final table. Maybe we're playing for a little bit more money, but. You know, stick to stick to what's got me here, the the work in the past and the knowledge that I've gained throughout uh, my prior uh, poker playing career. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, winning this, winning the WSOPC main event, uh, I'll be you know, having the opportunity to be the first inductee into the team champions. Um, I, I would really like it because I feel like it's sort of I like I feel like the, the promotion, you know, one of the one of the main perks is, you know, someone's going to get an avatar. Well, I mean, I, I don't think GG themselves plan for an actual an ambassador to win. That's our that he has an avatar. And I think it'd be cool because, like, I, I can only imagine the type of people that are also going to be a part of the team champions. Um, there's some absolute crushers. And usually, you know, in, in tournaments like this, big fields like this, um, you know, I'll, I'll be etching myself amongst you know some great players. If if I could if I could have myself in the conversation of like some of the some of the greats in poker, um, yeah, I think Team Champions is the way to do it. Yeah, if you guys are looking to you know follow along with the journey or perhaps watch uh, watch my cards up coverage of it, you know I'll be streaming it live twitch.tv slash Egyptian E G P T I O N. Also. If you're looking to catch me outside on my socials or I-R-E-G-P-T-I-O-N, I-R Egyptian on Twitter and Insta, as well as Egyptian YouTube on YouTube. I mean, first off, if you guys snap cam on the final table, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, show a little heart. It's fun. And second, you know, just got to keep it simple. I like that. I like that. I like the little dab at the end. Brent, there is something to be said for experience here. And and Patrick has made a ton of big time final tables. How much do you expect experience to, to play a role here at this final table? I think he'll be nervous right away to start. Sure. Once the cards come out, once that first hand is played, he'll forget it. He'll remove it and he'll find his comfort zone and he'll be OK. Uh, the, the experience certainly will help in these situations. Um, he mentioned he's never really had that that first place finish in these yeah. bigger events and yeah. obviously you're talking about life-changing money you're talking about being number one at the podium and all the perks that come along with being a part of the champions it, yeah he's gonna be nervous jeff he's got to let that go right away 
finished seventh at the Battle of Malta main event final table, looking for a better performance today, but it is one tough field to deal with at this final table. Let us take a look at our players here at the biggest World Series of Poker Circuit main event final table in the history of the series. And of course, Brent, we have to start with the chip leader. You call him the best in the game right now, and that would be Nicholas Aztec. Yeah, it's not really even close. I mean, look at his GG poker winnings alone, folks. <laughs> that's $11 million since he started playing on GG. That, that's insane to me. The results speak for themselves. Doesn't matter the buy-in, doesn't matter the opponents. He knows how to win. He gets it done. Won a ring in the Heads Up event. He is the number one money winner of the Super Millions. He's final tabled about 25% of those super millions events which is absolutely absurd especially considering wow. the quality of the field in those he comes into this one with about 75 bigs he is a massive favorite at this final table let's take a look at one of his hands on his way to this chip lead on his way to this final table and brent you and i went over this in one of our preview videos earlier this week it was nicholas aztec playing that 10-8 pretty aggressively out of the big blind as he defended pre he check raised on the flop and he rips it in on the turn and sometimes the best in the world need to get a little lucky yeah uh, he certainly needed all the luck he could find here jeff i mean this was uh, an optimistic aggressive line to say the least and once in a while you just gotta get there yeah he ran right into zizu's ace king with the king of spades zizu was going nowhere but no problem for nicholas aztet who rivered the straight with that lovely, that oh so pretty nine of hearts. All right, so Aztec has the chip lead. Let us meet the rest of the players and we go down to second place and we find AOT Man 1888 with the Joker avatar out of China. This will be the biggest cash by a mile of AOT Man's career. And Brent, that's got a way on you. I mean, speaking of nerves, $22,000 in career gg poker earnings already guaranteed 75k a year yeah remarkable right this is what the poker dream is all about he's in for one bullet he's made it all the way to the final table he's got a ton of chips and this is already career potentially life-changing money for this guy just starting with the, the bottom mm -hmm. pay of seventy-five thousand. god that's so cool career defining score for aot man one eight 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 let's take a look at one of aot man's key hands on his way to second. And uh, yeah, I would say that that flushes are, are decent in this game, Brent, would you agree with oh that? Oh my, yeah, look at that. The old nine Dewey of hearts and just backdoors it, cracks tens. How about this, huh? Defends, Defends the big blind, mm -hmm. yeah, just calls the flop, uh, the turn. We just check call the river. We just go ahead and move it in, get called by the straight, easy mm. game. God, Jack of Hearts, oh, what a river card in this hand. AOT Man, second in chips going into this one. Third in chips right there is S A K. Did I do that right? Or do you want to read off all the S's? It's A K. Okay. Thanks. A K. Out of China also won a seat for this event for just $55. And that's part of the dream as well, right? Getting some of these satellite winners into the mix. Turn 55 into at least 75K, perhaps six figures, perhaps $750,000. That, that is fairly absurd. That's the ultimate parlay, Jeff. You know, you're in for the men, trying to get out for the max. This will also be his biggest win on GG. But I tell you what, you win that Sunday main event, the $200 buy-in for more than 65K, uh, you got some skills. You see that he fired off in the Sunday high rollers main event, got a cash there, so perhaps one to watch out for was sixth in chips after day one, so a relatively smooth ride for AK. All right, next, Brent, it's your guy. It is one F Spielman. But but first, but first, but first, but first, let's take a look at this hand. And it was the pocket eights, and it was a decent river for those eights. Getting the chips in on the turn against Queens had some outs. Could have used a 10, could have used a five could have used an eight, which was just spiked on the river. Absolutely. It took a very aggressive line. Check raises flop, yeah. just rips it in on the turn. 
Obviously plenty of equity with pocket eights and unlucky for the two queens. Yeah, bingo, bango, bongo, eight of spades on the river. All right, now, Brent, I was so excited to hand this one off to you. Yeah, you, you were take antsy. it away because here we go. It's F. Spielman. Fabian, but we're all going to call him Freddy. Take a look at this resume. You can tell he plays ball. The average buy-in in the lower right of your corner, that yeah. tells me a lot about a player. That's pretty high, 786 bucks. You can see the results. You can see he's firing a lot of these 1Ks. Biggest score, or excuse me, biggest score, 17,000. Only $49,000 in winnings. You would think someone with a high average buy-in like that typically would have more winnings. Mm. Finally, the day has arrived for Spielman to really just make his mark, and these numbers are going to escalate. And perhaps to Khaki T's point, Maybe more of a cash game player, and if he's going to fire a tournament, he will fire. Like you said, one of the higher buy-in ones. Let's take a look at one of Spielman's hands on his road to the final table. And like we said before, flushes, yeah, decent in this game, I would say. Taking on back to the old in this hand, they went three-handed to the flop. Fabian just check, rip city on the flop with that flush draw and, and with that gutter and, and got there on the river. Yeah, I mean, the hand sort of plays itself considering sure. the stack depths here. But have you noticed yet, Jeff, that all of the replays we've, we've seen, the big blind has been playing defense and the big Ooh. blind has won all three. Ooh. Point That's it out. Point. That's sharp analysis. That is mm -hmm. sharp. Defend those big blinds, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. C3. All right. Next up, entering this World Series of Poker Circuit main event final table in fifth place, that would be Promo King taking 45 bigs into this one. And Brent, nine bullets, but nine bullets, well worth it. He's here. Nine bullets. Wow. Out there blasting Promo King. Uh, again, average buy in 362. Tells me this is probably a regular grinder. Plays a lot of the 150s, 250s, 300s. The results speak for themselves. Uh, had a first place finish in the high roller marathon. That was good mm -hmm. for 12 dimes. Largest win was actually sixth place in the WSOPC event number four that was good for thirty three thousand. this is clearly again for all these players their biggest moment of yeah. their entire careers and uh it's nice to see a grinder's hard work pay off and make it to this point promo king perhaps thought he would have that moment in the world series of poker main event finished 58th in that one for almost 17k all right now look at one of promo king's key hands in route to this final table and it came against Egyptian. Egyptian leading river for 5 million. Promo King rivering the straight, raises it up, and Egyptian calls it off with top two pair. Yeah, pretty, pretty sick stuff. Ooh. I do not envy Egyptian spot there after turning top two, facing a one-liner to a straight on the river. Clearly, Promo King it has plenty of bluffs in this spot. Egyptian was looking him up yeah you know with top two pair probably about the worst hand he would call with in this spot uh, very interesting they, they must have a dynamic yeah i'm excited to see these two mix it up at the final table top two with no diamond in his hand that could have perhaps played a role in the thought process for egyptian speaking of egyptian let us get to one patrick tardif enters this final table with about 60 million in chips the gg twitch squad member and we see him pop up on snap cam. I hope we'll see him on snap cam throughout this final table. He was selling off 20% sold out with five stakers. Let us know in the chat, by the way, if you were able to get a piece of Egyptian. Finished second in the High Rollers main event for about 75K. Finished seventh in the Battle of Malta main event. That's one we referenced. But Brent, to your point, still looking for that major, major win. Yeah, notice that the, the winnings are clearly not accurate here. He's got more than a quarter million oh, dollars sure, 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 in yeah. GG poker winnings. That's simply just his largest score, which is huge, right? Second place in one of these difficult 1K high rollers. He said it. He's, you know, he's emotional. He's feeling it. He finally feels like he's in a spot to capture his largest career score. This is life-changing money. You got to feel good for team member Egyptian. All right, let's look at one of the Egyptians' key hands in route to this final table. And this one, this one was a beauty. 
Guayaquil raising it up. Egyptian making the call and the cutoff with ace queen. Check, check on the flop. Egyptian calls turn with ace high and Brent calls river with ace high as well. And that ace queen was good. Just a non-believer and I yeah. love it. You rewind it to pre-flop, right? How often are you thinking, oh, ace queen, I, I should three bet here. Mm -mm. Just flat. Keep in those worst aces. Allow the bluffs to unravel. De develop, understand the texture and pick them off. Simple game, Egyptian does it so well. His post flop play is really, really remarkable. Entering this final table, seventh in chips. That would be one Freedom 35. Freedom 35 with almost 50 million in chips out of Russia. Made it from day one to the final table in one day. Played one of those late day one flights. And what a day that must have been. He has fired all at the World Series of Poker Circuit. And, and Brent, I'm guessing... This guy might be an under the radar force to be reckoned with. I think you're onto something here too. And you know, the Russians are really good at poker. Uh, th this guy, again, average buy in 224. That's my key indicator. Yeah. Great grinder, 220,000 alone on GG. Largest win, 25,000. Still looking for that monumental six figure score. Again, it's a grinder's dream come true. Here you are, you have the opportunity. Let's see if freedom can find it. And how about a big hand from Freedom in round to this final table with that Queen 10 of spades raising it up pre to Siana defending in the big blind, Susana flopping a flush draw, and it was top pair for Freedom 35 to get some value on the turn. Goes check, check on the river. Yeah, I like the sizing there on the turn. Get total control. Uh, value for that top pair and then uh, maybe we back off a little bit Pump on the, the river. I could the be Bible. getting called by better. Yeah. All right. Two more players left. We'll get to Brent's favorite in a little bit. But first, it is Noxical. Also with about 48 million in chips out of Poland. Just one bullet for Noxical entering the mix here. Not that much experience on GG. So Brent, we keep saying that the dream is just so, so, so alive for so many of these players. Yeah, boy, if I'd have known he was Polish, maybe I would have picked him. <laughs> I'm Polish. He's Polish. Uh, I get $66 average buy-in, clearly playing smaller stakes. This is a dream come true for Noxicao. Uh, all of a sudden now, Jeff, I have a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a favorite here. He was selling off 12% on day two. No one told me. Nobody bought. Nobody. Nobody bought a piece. Taking a look at no one respect. of Noxicao's key hands. Uh, in route to this final table. We saw him play a big hand against Misikowski earlier. How about how about same thing in Brent? It came in the blind versus blind battle once again against Misikowski. Misikowski just loves having stone zero yeah. in these spots, right? I mean, you can see limp it, limps in, check, check, pre-flop, and then he's just going to go ahead and, uh, well, looks to me like he floated out of position, Misikowski. No, I'm wrong. No, check, it, check, went, it went check, check His on flop. Misikowski led turn, and how about yeah. this? After Misikowski checking on the river, Noxikow firing four million, looking for some value with kings and sixes, and Misikowski not afraid to click that call button with Jack High. Unbelievable. Ooh. Jack High, call me with Jack High. Call me with Jack High. Uh, speaking of Misikowski, he does round out our final table. He is the short stack going into this one. Ninth place, nine people remaining, and let us take a look at Mr. Misikowski, but Brent's still fairly comfortable with about 15 bigs, and look at that tournament resume. Yeah, I mean, obviously, these results speak for themselves. First, first, third, third, average buy-in, 832 bucks, took down one of the toughest high rollers in all of poker, the 10K Super Millions. He's a winner there. Uh, I, I played a long time with David, years back online. Donk Committed was his name. Very, very, very tough. I think he's going to give these guys hell. He just needs to get on chips. He's a little short to start. Mm -hmm. A little short to start, about 15 bigs. We've seen plenty of hands from Misikowski throughout the course of the show. Let's take a look at one more. Probably a good one, a better one for Misikowski. And, well, I was going to say he probably had it this time. He, he didn't have it. Uh, he had the nines. The nines were counterfeited there. But he does fire on turn and take down that pot against AK. Against AK. As AOT Man shows us that king, we will see those three players that I just mentioned at this final table. Woo! Brent, we're about a minute away before we get the action. 
going. You see the payouts on the bottom left of your screen. You see those massive pay jumps. How much are those going to weigh into how this final table plays out? Yeah, well, I mean, if the ICM thing is, is going to be for real today for yeah. a lot of these players, you're looking to ladder up, ladder up pay jumps. My eyes clearly are on the short stack. That doesn't have anything to lose right now, and that is Mizikowski. Right now, that stack being short is worth essentially ninth place mm -hmm. money. Let's see if he's going to be doing a little grip and rip, trying to get it in and, and accumulate right away while these other players sort of sit tight and they allow the ladders to unfold. Our final nine guaranteed $75,843, about 25, 26K pay jump from ninth to eighth. Our first place prize is $758,443. And Brent Nicholas Aztet, I'm assuming, will assert his chip lead throughout the course of play. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna pick his spots to perfection, which is what we'd expect from the best yeah. online player of the last decade, which is what I think Egyptian said. Um, he's not gonna go too crazy, but he's gonna be in total control. And here we go to kick things off. It's the seat draw, the short stack, choosing first in this one. That'll be Misakowski, and then the chip leader, Aztec, gets his final selection. Love this. Love resetting the chip stack so we have a 40 big blind average stack. Like these final table features that GG has to offer. Absolutely. Uh, it's very unique, and it, I love watching the last guy go. Right, really right, right. The first couple you know, don't thing. really yeah. matter, but the last couple are very intriguing, especially. Egyptian's got a fun draw here. Yeah. Let's see where he ends up going. I mean, you have to imagine he's going to put himself. Uh, he's is he staying there? No, he's going to go right there. He's going to go right there. Puts himself to the right of Aztec. Promo King making his move. Your boy Spielman in the mix. Ready. Fabian Spielman. Fabian runs out of time, folks. Oh. Got to make quick decisions here. AK, I don't give you that much time. I like it. You, you, like, like we got a final table to play. We got seven hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars up top. Let's go. He's Brent Hanks. I'm Jeff Platt. Egyptian We're about to get rolling here. Just got his wish. I, I, I think it was intentional to go to the right of Aztec, assuming he was going to be moved. So now let's see where our chip leader decides to head. Wow, worked out well for Egyptian. Yeah, and Aztec going to the left of Spielman, AOT man, Promo King, three of the bigger stacks. All right, here we go. 20 hands per level. You'll see the game clock pop up soon. Make sure they spend that wisely because if that game clock runs out, you just get five seconds per decision. And with that, here we go. One million, two million blinds with a 250,000 ante. Starting stack for this one was 50K. So that shows you, you know, how many entries we've had and, and how we're, we're really revving it up for this final table. Yeah, and here comes Astet right away. Folds yeah. to him, of course, on the cutoff. 10-3 suited. Good enough. Let's apply pressure. Pick your spots. It's going to get a lot of tight folds, Jeff. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Nokosako. <laughs> how are you saying his name? I was going with Noxical. Noxical from Poland, yeah. and he yeah. says, uh-uh. He's all in firsthand. Not scared. Not here for the pay jumps. Here for the win and takes down our first pot of the day. Egyptian showing an ace right off the bat. Noxical is going to find another one here. But that's part of that pressure that you mentioned that we'd see Aztec pick and choose in the cutoff, going to raise up most there. And did raise with the 10-3 suited. 10-3 off suit, yeah. probably not a fan of. And Aote Man and Spielman just have a horrible seat draw. Yeah. Knowing that Aztec's going to be three betting pretty frequently in order to leverage they will be pretty handcuffed freedom defends out of the big blind and does flop a king see the pot size in the middle of your screen players chip stacks right underneath their name payouts bottom left corner of your screen not so cow with a side we'll check back Freedom defending in the big with the king eight, flopping a king. Yeah, I'd like to try and get a little bit of value here. 
We'll look for seven million. Dice sizing. The value on the turn. Mexico has the nut bluff catcher, but just too shallow. Yeah. You can't really look him up at this juncture. And like you keep saying, especially with your eyes on the short stack in David Misikowski, who is in the big blind here. Let's see if AK might elect to open his button and target Misikowski. You could just min raise in these spots, make it four million. Hmm. Misikowski is pretty much fit or fold, although the tendencies these days is you're defending off of yeah. 10 big blinds or less. You peel C3. If you make a pair, you get it in. If you don't, you're not fold and pressing move on. the panic button. If you have 10 bigs, still defending like, a wide range. Yeah, and I, and I like this open with King 5. Freedom out of the way. We know Misikowski will defend wide, just how wide. He will fold the 4 3 off. Oh, Daily Turbo overlay, Brent, if you want to get in the mix. Oh. Spielman with some internet issues early on. That has got to be tilting. He's back, but that's popped up a couple times. Yes, that finally has a decent hand. Ace Jack. Potential trouble down the road for Promo King. As you can see, he's got mm -hmm. Queen Jack waiting in the big blind. Certainly going to play a little defense here, Jeff. He does defend. It comes King 8 3 Rainbow. 12 million in the pot. Nice little board for him to continue on. Stead has a lot of the aces and kings in these spots. A little down bet. That's all it's needed. Up to more than 150 million in chips. Oh, this is going to be interesting, Brent. So the time is probably now for Misikowski with 12 bigs on the button with the ace jack. We yeah. see that AOT man is king 10 in the big. Yeah. yeah, and it's probably pretty close, Jeff, for AOT man. Got more than 50 bigs to start the hand, which is a very comfortable stack. You hate yeah. to lose even 10 of those in these spots. And a quick bolt Bolts, quick for bolt. IOT man with King 10. That is the power of ICM that we mentioned, yeah. right? This, your stack is worth money. There's just no need to really give it away. This is trouble now. You can foresee potentially what could happen here. With Misikowski holding ace jack with Promo well, we'll King see, holding Jeff, ace because queen. If Misikowski does elect to go with it here, understanding that Aztec can be opening, obviously, as wide as a hand like King Jack, Promo King is in a horrible yeah. spot with Ace, Ace Queen and may just throw it in the muck. Good point. There Let's is go. that Let's shove see. with the Ace Jack. Promo King facing the under the gun rays and it, the rip from Misikowski. Spot. Yeah, yeah this, this might work. And it gives Misikowski a chance to get it all in. Pure. A couple nice pickups for Misikowski, who's up to about 20 bigs now. Notice that Aztec doesn't splash there. No need to call. Yeah. With the King Jack. You will certainly feel no pressure to play big pots, stick to gamble. Knows his skill edge, knows his chip leading edge. Let's see if he's one of these awkward spots where you've been all in a couple times and now you're deciding to open. Does it look strong? Is it strong? What hands should we be opening? King 10's a qualifier. Aztec certainly defends wide. Might even consider three betting. Instead, we'll just call. Comes six, four, three, all diamonds. Misikowski has the king of diamonds. Sarthok in the chat says, just started, guys. Yeah. Pretty much, what, about five or six hands? Welcome in, welcome in all of you. Thank you for joining us, much appreciated. Yeah, what a dirty little turn card here. Yes, the deuce of hearts. As Ted takes the lead with a pair of twos. I, I don't see any world in which Misikowski can really bet here. You have to be concerned that Aztec could have a five, and there you go, straight on the board. See if Aztec tries to take it away. He has all the sevens. Misikowski mm -hmm. has none here, unless it's pocket sevens, which you would have heard from by now. And he will apply some pressure with a pot size bet. 
slight over bet. Yeah, Misikowski's probably annoyed, obviously, at the run out, thinking he could have bet flop some of the time mm -hmm. and won the pot and now just forced to give it up. Yeah, well done, Nicholas Azta. Already proving why he's the best in the game, according to Brent Hanks. The top winner of the Super Millions tournaments, which draw some of the strongest fields on a consistent basis. His final table is about a quarter of those. Ace five of clubs for promo king. Raise and take it. Grind in the chat says nice bet by Aztec. Certainly agree there. Really was. You're gonna see a lot of that out of Aztec today. Ooh. Iote man, he's got a couple of cowboys. He's How about Freedom with the very tight fold king yeah. queen off under the gun plus one? off of that stack again it's it's all about these these ladders and the pay jumps about a 25 26k pay jump from ninth to eighth the egyptian as jack 10 in the big blind in a terrible spot for egyptian clearly getting a price gonna see three well let off the hook now comes ace 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 interesting texture for iote man does he just elect to check back right and he does this quick check back six on the turn yeah and i have a hard time thinking egyptian's gonna put a nickel into this pot unless he gets yeah. unlucky and somehow makes a jack or a 10 even if he sees the river but here comes the min bet by iote man Egyptian can even call. Egyptian lays it down. You'll be very relieved to see the replay of that one later. Yeah. So happy you didn't make a pair. Tens for promo king here. And Brent, we've mentioned that first place not only comes with a World Series of Poker circuit ring, but more than $758,000. And in addition to all of that, an induction into Team Champions, as AK defends, Mrs. Flop. Tons of perks come with Team Champions. You get your custom avatar, GG Platinum Fish Buffet, the Team Champions badge, a write-up, a unique affiliate code. You get this online and live tourney entry package, the, the GG Online main events, covered for you. The World Series of Poker live main event covered for you. 50K plus in value and along with the extras that money can't buy. How about those exclusive party invites during live events? Get a meet and chat with the GG team. Sounds pretty cool to me. Sign it's me great. up. It is so cool. Love what GG Poker is doing for the game right now for the industry. Little blind on blind warfare. I, I don't see... I don't know. If AK just limps, it's the only shot we're going to have to see three. He's going to kick it up to five mil. And Freedom. Freedom's flag changed on us, Jeff. He's yeah. Brazilian. Brazilian. Was Russian earlier. I like it. Raise and take it for SSSAK. Winner of a Sunday main event at that $200 buy in for more than 65K. This will be his biggest score here, and here is an interesting one. A couple of pretty ones, starting with Nicholas Aztec and the King Queen of Clubs. Egyptian with that Ace Queen of Spades in the cutoff. Yeah, probably good enough for Egyptian to just go out and pile. What do you like to just flat some of the time? Considering and there is the flat, you know, considering who's in the big blind in that stack being mm -hmm. Mizikowski, I would expect Asta to be targeting a little wider here. Freedom folds the king jack of spades. Mizikowski out of the way comes ace ten six. Good flop for Egyptian. Asta with the Broadway draw. I think Astat, again, being the pre-flop raiser, you have a gut shot to the nuts. You're going to continue to show aggression. Even if you're up against a hand like Egyptian is holding a screen, you would expect to get called a lot by that particular holding. 
probably aren't going to get blown off of it too often. Oh, oh my, my. the turn is a wow. jack. The stone cold nutter butters for Nicholas Aztec. Egyptian in a little bit of trouble here with 43 million behind with 22.6 million in the pot. Wow, let's see how Aztec decides to maneuver on the turn, obviously with the nuts. He's narrowing Egyptian's range right now. Is it ace-jack suited? Is it ace-queen suited? Clearly knows it's that sort of holding. Could it be as good as pocket tens for a set? Notice he's going to go exactly half pot, understanding Egyptian has a value hand. And Egyptian is now in a spot where he essentially feels like he's going to have to go with it or throw it in the muck based on the sizing. The presence of a heart draw, you do need to deny mm. equity some of the time. If he just calls here, he's going to see an all-in on the river and be absolutely sick about it. And he does call. The river brings the nine of clubs. 45.2 million in the pot. Yeah, seven, eight gets there, Jeff, which, uh, you know, if it's seven, eight of hearts, we, we can obviously be a little bit concerned about that sort of hand but really it's the king and the queen and it's the two pairs that are available as Aztec empties the clip One, there two, is three. that all in that you mentioned and here is Egyptian being sick about it like you also mentioned facing certainly the most aggressive player at this table wow and look at promo king yeah, with just the taunts, waving, goodbye. waving goodbye good game it knows exactly what's going on it seems a tough spot here if Egyptian makes the call his tournament is over yeah and Egyptian he knows his hand is face up and what a what a very yeah, good fantastic fold. Fold. it's painful Aztec ex extends his chip lead Egyptian now one of the short stacks but does stay alive wow Sort of wonder if Egyptian too. just expected Aztec to, to give up on most rivers mm. and to only barrel off with his value hands. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, I think that's the only reason why he would choose to call the turn and fold the river. The three bet from AK. Showing a little aggression here. Yeah, looking to three bet fold, Jeff. Yeah. You know, the hand strong. plays a little bit easier this way. You're just hoping that my man from Poland is out of line and is going to raise fold pre flop, which is exactly what I expect to happen unless yeah. we see the old four bet all in. No, not happen. Which we do not. AK picks that one up. Up to about 106 million. Blinds 1 million, 2 million with a 250,000 chip ante. As you see in the bottom right corner of your screen, a $7,248,000 prize pool. More than 14,400 entries in this event. Top 1,500 made the money. Our final nine guaranteed, almost 76K. Jack ball on the turn. AOT man turns a worse pair. Promo king with queens and the queen of clubs. Could be problematic. Pot's going to stay small no matter what, considering this texture. Maybe Promo king decides to eat out a little bit of value. Mm -hmm. Two million. Bet them in. Oh, I'm going to so go for a little, about a little bit more. It feels yeah. very confident with that queen. Good pull by AOT man with the jacks. Promo King takes down a small pot. Twenty hands per level at this final table. This is the third day of this event. Sikowski now ace seven off with that stack on the cutoff, a little too deep to just mm -hmm. rip it in there. And we'll see your favorite blind versus blind battle. 
Oh, you know I love this, Jeff. I'm a sucker for yes, black and blind. Especially Usually when both nobody, miss. You love yeah, it. Yeah, nobody has anything. Right, right. You know, you're forced to fight. The lead here with nine high gets it done for Aoji, man. Nicholas Aztec, the significant chip leader at this point. Freedom's been tight so far, but just a guess, Queens are a qualifier for him. Let's see, raises it up. Holds around to Asta in the big blind. And just lays it down. Freedom up to more than 25 bigs. Egyptian and Misakowski are the short stacks, both hovering around that 15 big blind mark. Both yeah, watching the other intently, I'm sure. It's it's a danger zone, you know. Uh, Misakowski is I know. having some connection issues. Egyptian, I mean, that's as bad a start as you're going to get for the day, really. Yeah. Was that your pick? Well, it depends how you look at it, you know? Right. You know what I mean? Just depends. We'd have yeah. to go back, check the tapes. I don't want to do all that. Right. Mitsikowski, grip, rip, pocket threes, crab hunting. Just going to get it through. It's probably pretty close. I mean, I don't have yeah, the old... Uh, charts in front of me jeff but threes is optimistic yeah threes in mid position that's optimistic that is old school misikowski man he goes yeah for that's yeah ak with ak We'll see a lot of this. Raise, fold, raise, fold, raise, yeah. fold. Freddie shows the random yeah, 10 yeah. of diamonds. Sometimes I you got to show I the like 10. I like this guy. I yeah. love this guy. Says so ship it. Yeah. Spielman with nines. Aztec with king, queen. Egyptian with the king, jack of diamonds and the small blinds. Oh, this could. Boy. We go in a multitude of directions. Yeah, I, I mean, let's see if Estet decides to just flat or three bet right. in this spot. I don't think Egyptian is going to consider squeezing all in. He just, I would expect to get called. He might go for it. Is this? No, there it is. That's laid down. Out there Painful, for with nines. Not a terrible flop for nines, just terrible in this specific scenario. Yeah, expect a check call a high percentage of the mm -hmm. time. If you're just bluff catching. The difficulty against a guy like Aztec is you, you have to expect multiple barrels. Yeah. By value and by air, right? I mean, he knows exactly what your sorts of hand. Even if he had a king, he may elect to, say you raise king 10 suited. He'd take the same line, right? Sure. Spielman. He'd feel a little bit better having top pair. <laughs> right. But Eight you never love it. on the turn. More than 21 million in the pot. Here comes shell number two, I would imagine, unless he just plans on finding a, a second guaranteed street of value if we were to ever deceptively check back here. Now there it is. Going Three about two-thirds. Depending on the math. Your math is yeah, probably going to take better. mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know that Aztec is going to put his opponents in painful spots. We've seen it already. Nice lay down by Spielman. Nice pick up by Aztec. I mean, a 900, more than $20 million in career online earnings has won $11 million on GG alone. Yeah.
I, with $11 million in GG earnings, is that all time? Is that the most money won? Have we gone over this for sure? Uh, I mean, well, if he's the number one winner in the super millions, you gotta you think that's a, yeah. The case? Yeah, I guess we, we wouldn't say that definitively, but if it's not first, it's very, very, very close. Right. It has to be, it, it, it's gotta be him, right? Yeah, Maces brutal spot for, here for yeah. freedom, by the way. This is just limp pot. You've got the best jack. Hard to put your opponent on too many aces. Six yeah, of spades on the turn. A second shell here might shrivel me up and I might be throwing that jack right in the muck. You yeah, haven't folded have second pair in decades. I didn't used to. Now I do. Yeah, now in today's game, yeah. Yeah, I got diapers, man. I got, <laughs> That's a little more I got than food to put on the table. You, you can't just blast off like the good old days? No. Time's Make a, a pair and just get the chips in? Oh, oh boy. Oh. Or you could just river trips. That's an alternate path to glory. Yeah, I, do, I don't fault the call. I mean, again, you force them to show up with the goods, and now it's – Probably going spade. check check a lot yeah. unless the old ace king here decides to turn a seven into a bluff. Pretty hard to do when you've been called twice on this sort of texture. Yeah, and freedom happy, thrilled to check back here and pick up a nice pot. Lines are going up. So ship it. Love it. 1.25 million in the small blind, 2.5 million in the big blind, a 300,000 chip ante. Yeah, this is a pivotal, pivotal it's jump. Really you know, Egyptian just down to a smidge more than 10 bigs. He is certainly in the crosshairs. All eyes on him if you're a player in this spot, knowing that there's a big money jump. It's up a little bit more than $25,000 from ninth to eight. Which guarantees every player a six-figure score, Jeff, starting yes, in does. spot eight and above. Freedom will call out of the small blind with eight. Comes nine six deuce. So far, so good for those eights. Let's see if the Spielman decides to barrel on this texture, knowing he likely has two overs. He wore up against the hand like sevens, eights, tens. If for whatever reason tens elected to flat from the small, which I do think would happen. Freedom probably not going to give it up. Does he decide to win it right here? There it is. Let's deny equity to hands yeah. like that. Let's check raise. Makes it 16.25 million. Spielman out of the way. Yeah, I like that. You know, I, I like that a lot. End it right here. And if there's any resistance, if he moves it in, okay, fine, buddy. Yeah. You, you, nice bluff or just nice hand. Sometimes you just got to pay him the money, Jeff. Right. Oh, I know. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Uh, aces for all here. Freedom will open with the ace five. Yeah, the Gauss with ace room. four off the short stack in at the small blind, lays it down. Promo king. With about 37 bigs to start this hand. Yeah, yeah, probably just going to play a little defense and flat. There are times where you could consider three betting again to shut down the action right away. I, I don't think freedom is too out of line. He hasn't been raised folding preflop. Then again, we don't know the history leading up to this final sure. table. Jack six deuce two diamonds. Freedom has the ace of diamonds. Couple backdoor draws for him. The assumption at a final table is everyone is going to play tight yeah. because of the amount of money up top. Promo King lays it down. Freedom on a little hot streak. Ever since we switched the flag. And those Brazilians, they're, they're passionate. Certainly are. As Ted opens here with the ace three of diamonds. Will anybody get in Lena's way or will he just, coast to yeah. a World Series of Poker Circuit ring? I, you, I think you're going to see a lot of coasting 
until you get to three, four handed, and mm. then sort of the stacks will catch up, the coolers will unfold, the inevitable eliminations. But I would expect him to easily eclipse, you know, 200, 250 million in chips before he sees any sort of resistance. A significant favorite here, going off at a little less than two to one. Pretty wild in a nine-handed final table. Yeah. Power of the chip stack, power of the name, power of the resume. And like you said, Brandon picks his spots. He just he never forces it. He doesn't have to play every single hand. No, he, he won't. I mean, these are these spots too. Like he, he's creative out of the big blind. Jack five isn't a great hand to play defense with, but he doesn't like to yeah. fold either. So there you go. He's going to incorporate various three bets and apply pressure with stone zero hands, yeah. knowing it's just going to work a high percentage of the time. Now, promo King is in a horrible spot with, with a very good hand with King queen. And you're probably just forced to fold because it is ICM yep. correct. Yep. Asset knows that promo King knows that. It's just all you can do. The, the guy won't miss a beat. He won't miss a spot. That's what makes him so damn good. Yeah, so many levels in this one as Promo King is just staring at those short stacks and Egyptian and Miss Sikowski and Aztec knows that and Promo King knows that. Aztec knows that. The Promo King picks up Queens here. About 32 bigs. Just calls here with the queens. It comes to eight, seven, deuce. Interesting. No diamonds. Yeah, I, I'm. If I make hay here, I'm probably just giving up. I've seen enough. No diamonds. No Broadway picture cards. I have no idea what Promo King's calling me with, but I assume, again, it's on a tighter range. And, of course, he's got queens. And Brent, now, now Noxical has kind of emerged as one of these short stacks as well. Yeah. It's just 32 million. So three short stacks here in the Egyptian and Misikowski and in Noxical. Egyptian has a seven. If it does fold around to Lena, does Lena just rip here with the ace deuce? And if yes. so... Does Egyptian make the call? Boy. Probably has to. Well, you don't have to do anything, but uh, okay. you're, you're feeling pretty good about a seven being the best hand. You are the ultimate short stack right now. It's not a terrible spot. You can also have a, be in a really good situation like he is and have the better ace. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think he's probably going to flick it in and just make the call. It's the shortest stack. You hate calling it off, but I mean, it's just one of those spots where you know Lena is shoving very, very wide. Into the two short stacks. Like Queen 8 offsuit is all in off the button here. You know, uh, you're not in a great spot against Queen 8. In fact, you'd rather have the situation you're seeing right now, clearly. But you just understand how wide that Asted is. And A7 is ahead. Lightly. I think it's a call. Does Egyptian click that call button? If he does, he'd be in a pretty prime position to double up. Yeah, I'm he's probably talking to the stream right now, understanding, yeah. guys, this is it. This is why we have to do it. Uh not what not what we're looking for today, but we need <laughs> to double up right here. He's gonna put it in, Jeff. I I, I think he just has to call. I don't see There's how there's promo king firing off. The Bolzerian emojis saying goodbye. Does make the call, and here we go. Egyptian, the one all in and at risk with ace-7 against Aztec. Ace-2, oh and it comes ace-2-7. Ace on the turn. Ace is full for Aztec. River card. Egyptian trying to squeeze a 7 or a jack to stay alive. And not it is not a 7. It is not a jack. Oh, that is brutal, and that does it. For Patrick Tardif, the GG squad member, Egyptian, out in ninth for $75,843.
Oh. I mean, that that's pain, right? That's Max I, pain. You have to imagine he's he's thrilled to have been here, but sure. right now in the moment, you're so disappointed. You're so close to uh, just a massive score, and, and you got you got as tetted, right? Yeah. The, the king queen hand early on. He's gonna go back and see that he he made the correct fold made and the then right get the money in good here and just oh. can't win. That is the pain of the game at times, folks. But you know what? It's the pain that keeps us coming back. That's right. More. That's right. And it's run after run after run for Egyptian Patrick Tarta. Finishes in ninth in this one, $75,843. Just another incredible run to add to the resume. And then there were eight here, all guaranteed, $101,139. Next pay jump worth more than 33 k the GG's in the chat for Patrick Tarta. Yeah. Mm. And Brent, right look at the chip lead that Nicholas Asted has. Yeah, it's insurmountable right now. I mean, he's. I mean, he I has mean, 225 just, million. Nobody else has 100 million. Right. He's just going to be able to pick his spots again. It's not like he's doing anything crazy out of line. I, sure. The Jack Five three bet out of the big blind. I, I don't. I don't really consider that out of line. That's just a spot he's going to take. Trying to win a pot off of him is it's hell. I mean, it's it's so difficult. You have to do this, what you're seeing right here, right? You have to have kings, kings. against his king yeah, queen, yeah. <laughs> where you're going to probably three bet, and he's probably just going to fold. Right. And choose another spot right. to take advantage I mean, it's of. It's just the guy is incredible. You know, I think Egyptian – I know he just busted. I, I really am uncertain about the ace queen flat. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. against a guy like Aztec, considering the ICM scenario, it, Mizikowski was in the big blind. I think Aztec can be targeting there a lot, knowing he's getting a lot of folds. Just move it in pre. I think you should just shove it in pre and pick yeah. up the money that's in the middle and allow yourself to, to continue to orbit around and around and around. Yeah, and like you said, Asset just folds the king queen. Just gonna fold. Just pick he's a better spot. Play, he's gonna play perfect. He knows he's not being three bet light ever right now. Right not in this right. situation. Not with Misakowski under ten bigs. Not with Noxikow at twelve bigs. And this is probably a shove here that's gonna get yeah. through for Misakowski. King four suited. Does rip it. Does win it. And freedom has the goods. Now here's a great spot where I love flatting Ace Queen. Yeah. He may elect a three bet, but I again I, I think this is a good spot to do it considering the stack depths. You've got the short stack directly to your left. You'll happily get it in. If he decides to rip an Aztec, is not in the hand, Jeff. He's that just going to go ahead and three exit. There's the three bet. Just going to try and win it right now. And he will. AK really can't continue with Ace Jack off in this spot. It really shouldn't be. Been a really nice start for both Aztec and Freedom entering this final table. Seventh in chips is now in second. And the difference between seventh and second is a sizable one. Musikowski, he's, he's got that hair over 10 big blind stack and A7 off again. Gonna fold it again correctly and this time as that gives up the big blind i thought maybe we'd see him try and punish it once more well here we go for misikowski it looks like that will just get right through which would make noxical the short stack yeah incoming here if he's gonna move it in with threes jeff he's certainly gonna do it with sevens yeah. Indeed, get through. Misikowski entered this final table as the short stack. He's at least laddered up one spot. And 
Could he find the second ladder soon? Promo king with king queen. Here comes Nicholas Aztec. Doesn't have to make the three bet dig with an ace in his hand on the button. It's better ace to fold there. Just punishment, just pure yeah. torture. Just can't be too much fun with this guy anywhere in the vicinity of your left. No, yeah, not at all. You look at Misikowski's stack, you look at Noxikow's stack, you look at this $33,000 pay jump from eighth to seventh. You're just handcuffed. I mean, right. you win. What you am can't, I supposed to do? To, oh, my oh gosh. or you could click back. Or you could stand up and say, not today. Not right now, not at this moment, wow. Mr. Aztec. Wow. That is, that okay, is strong. Then. That is strong. Wow, he just went full-blown Chino there. <laughs> I like that. Okay impressive Spielman with nines with 20 bigs that was strong didn't expect that freedom 35 ace eight of spades in the big blind will defend king queen deuce one spade Yeah, and despite it coming king, queen, x, I think Freddie can still continue, represent that sort of range. It's all about range, not necessarily yeah. your hand in these spots. You should have all the kings. You should have all the good queens. Bet, take it down. Ace, 10 of diamonds now for freedom. Not shoving less than 3x raise with the ace ten of diamonds. I would have thought he'd just put them all in. I imagine we are snap calling if Mizikowski shows up with a shove there, Jeff. I think so. Freedom giving himself some credit with the emojis. Aztec raising it up with the ace deuce off. He's coming after all of it. Yeah, boy, that promo king four bet, that was wild. Yeah, that, was... that was wild. Promo king with the ace four off in the big blind. About 40 bigs. Does defend queen, queen, deuce. Ace Never a doubt. Deuce has been good to Aztec. Fire small here. I think Aztec would do the exact same thing, same sizing, even if he did have a queen. He's pretty much going to do this with all of his range. And how about this? Promo King trying to continue to attack. Aztec, and I oh. don't see this one working out. So Aztec does make the call. Promo King does turn the wheel draw. 36 million in the pot. Is he just check raising and done, or is he really now adding a little bit of equity with that gut shot going to go for it? I mean, you're repping a queen and a queen only here, Jeff. And he's going to go for it. Yeah, betting about one third. Really the first decision for Aztec, just a non-believer, says, yeah, buddy, I don't think call. you would ever play a queen like this. I think you would just check call. And now 60 million is in the pot. Does Promo King fire one more bullet? I don't see how he, he does can. not. Yep. Aztec happy to check back, happy to show down the winner. So sick. Not this time, man. Not this time. Yeah. Wow. Boy, promo king is yeah. just 
trying. He, you know, Promo King, uh, he's he's gone full blown Chino, Jeff. It's, yeah, it's Chino yeah. Reem. We didn't know his identity. Now we know. We found him. Yep. Miskowski with fives on the button after Aztec opened. Lays it down. Yeah, tough spot. Two fives. Would have loved to have just ripped it in pre had there not been an open. Sure. Especially from the chip leader. Aztec threatening to run away with this one. It's almost 237 million in chips. AK is going to run into it here after opening with the threes promo king as Jack's on the button. And Freedom 35 comes in with wow. a three bet with the Queen Jack offsuit. All right, so Freedom 35 is going to be three betting a variety of hands. We've already seen it from King Queen, we've seen it from Ace Queen, and now Queen Jack. Promo King in a pretty awkward, annoying spot with two jacks. Is it good enough to just four bet all in? Again, for the number of times we've seen Freedom three bet, you start to feel a little bit better mm -hmm. about two jacks. Does not four bet all in, does four bet to almost 33 million. And he's committed, obviously. Yeah. That is going to win. If Queen Jack just cannot. A little Should bit of Hollywood. Consider seeing a flop. No. Then the fold. Promo King jumps into second place. After winning that pot, the blinds are going up. 1.5 million, 3 million with a 350,000 chip ante. That puts our second biggest stack, Chromo King, at about 34 bigs. Noxical's time with eight bigs. Yeah, good Queen enough. Jack Queen Jack suited, feeling pretty good. Does Iote Man decide to put it in? No. Quick fold by Iote Man, who has played pretty tight throughout. Well, yeah, Ace Jack should but, be ahead of their under the gun shot, but you've got two short stacks. There's no, re no need to put yeah. it in there. Coyote Man opens here with the ace four of spades. Aztec with queen jack in the small blind. Does three um, bet to, to 21 sizes. million. Yeah, sizes this one up a little bit. Out of the small. Promo King played back at Aztec. Will AOT Man do the same? No. And the domination of this final table continues. What can you do? You're, you're, it's it's tough with the ace four suited there. Looking at Noxikow and Misikowski. Yeah, nothing. Unless you're just going to go full blown YOLO and planning on four bed jamming, you just have to raise. Okay, if I get three bet by Lena, I fold. On repeat. Sixes for AK. Bends out of the big. Checks on the jack four deuce. Aztec will fire almost 5.4 million. It's the go-to sizing by Aztec thus far for the continuation bet. Not the best texture card for King five, but he's pretty uncapped. I mean, you sort of wonder if two barrels would get the job done, if we were trying to target some sort of four or deuce holding, I'd be a little concerned that my opponent just has too many jacks. Maybe just giving it up or yeah, just gonna give, give it up. up. See the sixes, see the winner. You gotta feel good to take one off of Lena there if you're Yeah, AK. really. And rewarded Not too many for have. it. With the ace queen of hearts here. Blind versus blind. Freedom has the ace nine. 
Yeah, loves the three bet too. If AK comes with another raise like he did before, would Ace Nine now elect to come in with another three bet? We could see our first four bet all in. But let's see. There is that raise to 8.4 million. Freedom starting this hand with about 30 bigs. Makes the call. Queen Jack five yes. two hearts. Decent flop, I would say, for the wow. Ace Queen hearts. Smothered. about quarter pot freedom makes the call the turn is the 10 of hearts it's the ace high flush for ak freedom, the freedom has the fighter. nine of hearts yeah in the open ender wrong time to float Fire again, this time to the tune of 12.6 million. Can't love the nine of hearts, but is it enough to keep them around? That's, that's the concern. Lays it down. S-E-K. Moves into second place. And Noxical is going to get the chips in with tens. Freedom 35 as the ace queen of clubs. Misikowski has eights. Oh my goodness. About eight bigs for a short stacks. Gosh, are we going to see a three way all in here? Or does Misikowski try and ladder up? This is a really tough spot for two eights. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it in and goes for the triple. Just hoping he's up against similar sorts of hands, you know, ace queen versus ace jack, that sort of thing. And you're live with two eights. Removing some outs from the deck and he's going to fall a little more in chips than Noxical in case of the double KO, but he does lay it down. So here we go. Noxical all in and at risk with tens. The tens have held up so far. Just looking to dodge an ace, a queen or a three on the river. We'll squeeze it. The six on the river and Noxical stays alive up to 57.1 million in chips. Freedom, what a roller coaster ride it's been for Freedom. Yeah, and what a great fold again by Misikowski. I mean, less than 10 bigs and he finds a fold with two eights in what seemed like a pretty decent spot to find a triple. And now he's disconnected with the bedroom hand. What's a 96 in the... <laughs> Promo King gets the walk. Promo King, I think, showed him the King Jack. Did I see that right? Oh, maybe. Aztec opens here with the ace three of hearts. See that AOT man has the pretty jacked in a spades and the big. Does defend, six, six, four, one heart, one spade. Aztec checks back, turns a flush draw. Check, check. Does AOT man go for it here? Will not. Aztec happy to check back with the ASI. Take yep. down another pot. World Series of Poker Circuit main event, a $525 buy-in, 14,496 entries, creating a prize pool of more than $7.2 million. Down to our final eight, all guaranteed, 101K. Got a $33,700 pay jump from eighth to seventh. And for those of you just tuning in, we did lose Egyptian, our first elimination at this final table. Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube and Twitch. Where are you guys tuning in from? Let us know in the chat. Jeff and I are both in there, mixing it up with you folks. And who are you rooting for? Yeah. Where are you from and who are you rooting for? Let us know. Brent is rooting for Spielman, who has picked up the Ace King of Diamonds, blind versus blind. Yep. Spielman and Mitsikowski, those were my picks, Jeff, against you for our units. That is correct. 
not biased or anything, except for when I've got a unit on the line. <laughs> going to go ahead and rip it. One point five Ireland out bonus. there, huh? I see. Yeah, run it down for us. I got India rooting for Lena. That's from Gerwin. Bandit from Ireland. Daniel from Canada. Vettel says, are you guys going to commentate U.S. <laughs> Poker Open in 35 minutes? We are off today, Vettel, because we're going to cover this amazing it's final one-off day. But we're back tomorrow if the U.S. Poker Open for a little bit more break task and final table. Vettel also from Norway, rooting for Lena. Who raises here with the Jack-6 off in the small line. Oh, I, was, I, I love watching when he doesn't have any hands and how he maneuvers and navigates, right? This is just this kid's so fun to watch. Okay, so we raised Jack-6, small blind versus big blind. We're targeting my Polish friend, Nakasako. What do we do with middle pair? Well, here we, we apply we pressure. Win. We bet, yeah. You like that way I said okay. my name, Jeff, or no? Yeah, that was nice. All right, we'll get back to y'all's thoughts, y'all's predictions, who you guys are rooting for, where you're watching us from. But first, it's a quick break for them, so a quick break for us as well. We'll see you in about four and a half minutes. Thanks for watching. Elkie was waiting to come back to the final table. Fedor holds things so oh much. Michael Otamo is the best. And our main event winner will be inducted into Team Champions. What do you know, Brent, about Team Champions? Nothing, Jeff, but you know who does? Mm. Daniel Negreanu. The Poker Dream is alive. All you got to do is win the World Series of Poker Circuit main event, and you become the inaugural inductee to Team Champions, where there's tons of perks. Custom Avatar, GG Platinum Fish Buffet, Team Champions Bad Write-Ups, online seats live seats packages fifty thousand dollars in total value most importantly exclusive party invites during the live events where you can have yourself a drink with me and maybe i'll even buy for more information make sure you follow gg poker brent how about that team champion sounds nice oh the prestige mm. the legacy mm. jeff if you have what it takes it comes with a lot of benefits everybody, Daniel Grano here with some good news from the GG Poker Network. We've been preparing a promotion for the new year called GG Care. As any poker player might know, sometimes you find yourself in what we call unfortunate situations, you know, some ugly bad beats, right? Well, that's where GG Care comes in. GG Care will take care of you with huge prize pools available every day. Let's see how you can get your GG Care benefits. Aces versus kings. Yep, all in before the flop. I mean, nobody's going to fold that, right? It's just a setup. It's a cooler. I can't imagine being, you know, at the final table of the World Series of Poker heads up and this happening to me. It's just brutal. Bad beats should never be a thing, but eh, they are. Thanks, GG. I flop the top set. Very nice. Some fucking idiot chases a runner runner straight to suck out on me. Unbelievable. But in my darkest moment, GG Care was there. Thanks, GG. Flop the second nut set. The middle set on the flop. It's an impossible cooler. How can you be beat there? The guy has top set. Nobody's folding that. Sometimes it just feels unfair. Thanks, GG. As you can see, in the most unfortunate of situations, GG Care will appear for you. Are you curious how to get these benefits? Don't worry. You don't even have to lift a finger. First, 
simply enjoy the game as usual. Whenever something unfortunate happens, GG Care will be there. Secondly, when confronted with such circumstances, GG Care automatically will register you into a flip out tournament with a huge prize. Just check the pop up window. Thirdly, take a rest, have yourself a nap, get yourself a good night's sleep, clear your mind of all the bad beats, and when you wake up, the daily GG Care prizes will be waiting for you. That's all there is to GG Care. Pretty simple, isn't it? Just play the game as normal and GG Care will take care of you. And the prize money will only grow more and more in the future, so keep your eyes posted and good luck, everybody. I hope you don't have too many bad beats, but if you do, GG Care will be there. Thanks, GG. And with that, we welcome you back to final table coverage of the World Series of Poker Circuit main event, the biggest turnout ever for a main on the circuit, 14,496 entries. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, well, we're going to have some action to kick oh, things let's off it up. here. Oh, my God. Queens for Promo King and Kings for Promo King's opponent, AOT Man. Whoa. Promo King opens here. AOT man with about 25 bigs. I don't see, I don't see a world in which this money doesn't go in. Yeah. It's going to be three bet, four bet, all in call. We saw a queen folded. The three bets. And here from Promo King with the Queens is the four bet shove. And here we go. AOT uh -oh. man, the one who is all in and at risk, but with Kings wow. against Queens. Wow. Nine four four on the flop. Deuce on the turn. Will we squeeze paint for the sweat? We will oh. not. What a massive Tomatoes. double up for AOT, man. That's a sickening one if you're promo king and you're now one of the short stacks here. I mean, that's just devastating. Promo yeah. king had all the heart, right? Found the, the four bet against Lena correctly. Put up a fight and mm. then just gets cooled off. Mm. You know, all, all that heart, hard work. Comes to an end by means of a cooler. Still alive, yeah. though, Jeff, true. all right? True, 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 true. Yeah, I would say that was the play of the day, the four bet versus oh, Lena. Man. I, I didn't see I don't I didn't see that coming at all. I mean yeah. it was crazy. Maniacal. Now down to about seven and a half bigs in the big blind next hand. Miss Akowski, the shortest stack in the big blind this hand. Just folds the Jack Seven. Sikowski, promo king on the ropes. About a $33,000 pay jump from eight to seven. Passed out with the king jack of hearts. Chooses a little bigger sizing this time. Little defense, maybe? I don't know. The sizing, I think that's why yeah. Esther does this, by the way. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about it in other streams that we've done. So many players are accustomed to just betting them in, raise them in, make it $6 million. He'll size it up, and I think it is to deter some defense being played from your shorter stacks out of the big blind. I no longer am wanting to peel a hand like 9-8 because of the additional amount of money. And that the thought process that went through the mind of Promo King, who lays it down. Brent, look what your boy has. He's got my favorite hand, Jeff. 
and this is probably going to fold to him. AK has a weird spot as well as freedom because Mizikowski is so short. You don't want to open too wide and get out of line eh, by chance that he actually wakes up with a hand. Deuces There's the is shove. In. Yeah, for man's less gonna than call. five bigs. Here we go. Come on, baby. Ducks on the pond. Misikowski, the one all in and at risk with those deuces against the king queen. Yep. Oh, a safe flop for deuces, but has to dodge paint and cannot dodge paint. Looking for a deuce on the river to stay alive and won't find it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for David Misikowski out in eighth place for one hundred one thousand one hundred thirty nine dollars it's just not fair jeff mm -hmm. it's not fair couldn't get it going today yeah. you know you come in as a short stack you have no choice but to run it up pick the spots great and that'll do it for the legend that was known as is known as don't committed david mizikowski did find one ladder did make an additional 25k or so today our final Six seven your score baby yep yep promo king has found a ladder as well our final seven are guaranteed $134,870, about a 45K pay jump from seventh to sixth. Boy, how about Iote, man? I mean, out of nowhere. Yeah. On the heels Surged of in a Nicholas second. Aztec. Yeah. Up to 60 bigs. Blinds going up in four hands, as you see on the top left corner of your screen. AK opens, pop stop pair and a flush draw. Has to have a defender with the nine six of spades. Completely misses here. Very very comfortable board. Nice Ooh. check back. He Ooh. says, "Well, okay." Hit this pretty damn hard. Jack high flush draw top pair. I can easily check back here. I'm not afraid of any turn cards in the deck. Going to fire. A little more than half pot here, and has to have not interested. That Lena was not interested immediately. Right. Instantly check flop, instantly check turn, was just saying, okay, I'm done. It's just yep. bad. I'm, I'm ready to move on. That's not me. That's you. Jax for freedom here. Freedom entered this final table seventh in chips. Got up to second for a little bit. That's back down to a relatively short stack. Picks that one up, though, with the Jax. Says, running hot. <laughs> Man of the Ace Queen. Some real momentum here. Continues to insist that he's running hot. We know. We know. We've seen it. Picks up another pot. Approaching that 200 million chip mark. Ace King for promo king and freedom as eights in the big blinds. Well, here we go. And there are no eights left in the deck as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a clean race. Yeah, we don't see any aces or kings out there. Promo King going to be the one all in and at risk with Ace King against the eights of Freedom 35. Jack 9-5 on the flop. So far, so good for the eights. The turn is a good one for the eights. Promo King looking for an ace or a king to stay alive. It's paint. Oh, oh it's a queen man. on the river. Oh, that's quite the sweat for Promo King, but his day is done. Brent out in seventh for $134,870. Just a brutal last couple minutes. Yeah, brutal last couple minutes, but a solid day for the yeah. grinder overall. He showed some heart, fighting back against our chip leader, Astat. Uh, and then just the ultimate cooler. You know, yeah. queens into kings. So brutal. We'll remember that performance from Promo King. Seventh place. About 135K. And now our final six guaranteed $179,853. My God. Woo. Money is just adding up. Again, Minimum let us. Payday was 75. That's gone yeah. up more than 100,000, Jeff. Let us reiterate that the buy in for this one was just $525. And these final six have turned that into at least 180K. 60K pay jump from sixth to fifth. Asta didn't show interest there, and so the deuces, Brent. There's a win for your deuces. You needed Never that. Never a doubt. You needed Come on, that. Well, baby. Never there was a, a doubt. doubt. There was a doubt last hand when Mr. Kelsey well, lost. With redemption. Deuces. Yeah. One for two. Keep it tally.
So Spielman and Noxical now the short stacks. The blinds have gone up to 1.75 million, 3.5 million with a 450k ante. Give it to him, Freddy. There it is. Freddy Spielman. Fabian, Fabian, Fabian Spielman. Yep. Yep. Noxical will min raise here with the Queen Jack of Diamonds. No thanks. There are about 725 million chips in play. Asted has about a third of those chips, and Freedom has Jacks again. Noxical has a fun one to play defense with, mm. assuming that Aztec gets out of the way. He does. I mean, I'm certainly peeling all day here. That's what he does. He flops a six as Freedom flops a set of jacks. There's, Jeff, I don't think there's a better feeling in poker than flopping a set. Mm. Right? I mean, every time you just kind of... Oh, there it is. This is good. Oh, this is good. Oh. And, and then you get no action. And you're just like, what the... You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The one time I flop a set, of course. You hear that in the hallways of the Rio. And so I finally flop a set, and then the guy folds. All right, let me ask you this, and this is for the chat, too. Yeah. Give me your your average number. And and maybe this is – no, I don't want to do loud and thanks. Okay. Watch this hand develop here. Mm, queens for both. Clean for AK. Backdoor hearts for Aztec. Got the little Quinkleberry in the middle. Heart here come the, the hearts, of course. I'll get back to my question for the chat and for you in just a minute. Oh, my God. Seven on the river. Queens and sevens for Nicholas Aztec. Oh, my God. When you're the and best and when you're running well, pretty good combination. Yeah, and this probably uh, a fine lead here with king-queen. I would feel pretty good about it as well for value. But now when you get raised... Considering thus far what has happened, I mean, like, what are you putting Lena on? There is that raise to almost 31 million. Oh, my God. It's like did, nothing makes sense. What did yeah. you just do? Did you somehow make two pair? You what just like, check, you had check. the king. Like, what? Yeah. What? Like, right, I'm just pulling out my hair in the <laughs> spots. If I'm betting river, like, for value... And then get raised. Like, wait, what? He's bluffing. Call. Oh, you did that. You did the old running heart slash two pair trick. <laughs> face it down. Good lay Good down fold. at that. I don't have it in me. Yeah, I think I that's where too. I just like my face gets red, full of rage, and I just I click Paul. Like show you show me a winner. Lena. All right, there it is. Our, our guy boost, Bridgie Brent. Since when do you focus on the poker? What happened to you, buddy? I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to get to this question, too. My question is, yeah. we started nine-handed, okay? We saw the set that Freedom had a moment ago with two jacks. Jeff, how? what, what do you think the average number but through, for all nine players, average number of sets flopped throughout the duration of this tournament? Oh, in this whole tournament? In this whole tournament. What, what do you think the average number is? Nine players. Yeah. There were only, eight. what, 14,000 people in this thing? Yeah. So you got to run pretty pretty decent. Played a uh, few hands. Say I don't know. 26 do total. 26 sets along the way. 26 sets fought by our nine players. So That's like, your – well, you mean total. I'm, I'm yeah, talking yeah, like yeah. the average number. Like you oh, didn't so three. 26 sets three. to get here. Yeah, I'd say three. three. You're going to go number. three. Okay, go chat, three. what do you think? I don't know the answer to this clearly. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea. That's a fascinating question. I was between four and five, so I was a okay. little over you, but I don't really know even how I got there because I don't do math. <laughs> I don't even know if that's I a don't thing. You're to do math. You're just counting number of sets flopped. Right. So not total number of sets, just the average. So right. if you're saying total is like 26, I see how you get to three.
Yeah, Good Dana point. says it's a multi-flight tourney. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't really care about that. I'm just saying how many, what's the average number of sets flopped per player to get to this point of the tournament? Yeah, I'm going to go with 4.4. 4. Okay. 3.0. Yeah. yeah. And this is a good spot for your boy. Yeah, Freddy, baby. Show him how it's done, man. Here we go. Give me the min raise. Give me the jam. The old ace there king. is the min raise. Uh huh. This is a cooler. Here is the jam. Yep. Here, comes Here the is Here the go. call. Here we go. Spielman the one all in and at risk, but with ace king against ace queen. Clean. Jack eight three two spades. Spade on the turn, the 10 of spades on the turn. AOT man, a lot of outs here on the river. We'll squeeze it. Oh, oh, wow. It's not only a king, but it's a, a spade as well. A flush for AOT man. And that will do it, Brent, for Fabian Spielman. Out in six, the brutal run out, $179,853. I'm happy for AOT man. I'm disgusted and I'm sick. <sighs> For my man Freddy. Gross. Get what it in a good. turn card. Ugh. Oh, just like sick you thing. said, pretty clean flop. Just sick thing. Not a clean turn. This game, man. Your Ugh. stomach turn. Now Noxical, not that many chips. He's flopped a pair of tens, but he's run right into two pair. Just five remain, all guaranteed. Two hundred thirty-nine thousand eight hundred thirty-seven dollars. Now in an eighty k oh pay jump from fifth to fourth. Oh, my God. More than a quarter million dollars guaranteed. Holy cow. A little gut shot now added for my guy from Poland. Less than a quarter million? That's what I said, Jeff. Yeah. Just check. You've been on it today. I haven't gotten I a chance your, to correct you. I saw your shit-eating grin, and I knew I <laughs> yeah, you know, You knew like, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Can knock the cow, find the seven ball. Or an ace. Noxical in a significant short stack. Bet of a little more than half pot by SAK. Ooh. Oof. Noxical with 16.7 million behind. Nine's full for SAK. Yeah, I mean, it, it, geez. Obviously, the money's going to go in here for AK. Going to move it all in. Noxical doesn't have a terrible bluff catcher. I don't love it. But now when the money goes in, it's like, wait, what? I thought you – weren't you repping some sort of ace? What do you have? You, you, you can't have two pair, right? And just, just snap, snap bolts, bolts yeah. too. Wow. Press it. Man deserves a pierogi. <laughs> Well, he has about five bigs now as the OT man opens with the ace queen of clubs. Noxical quickly folds the king jack. And we have a new chip leader for at least a, a little bit, and that would be AOT man. Wow. But pays the big blind. That's that has more chips behind. Noxical with the ace queen of diamonds. It all goes in for less than five bigs. Is jack eight good enough in the big blind for that price? Come on, Not you little Kishka. That a boy. All right. Did I pick Noxical? No, your selections have been eliminated. What? Yeah, very sad, I know. And you're alive with the chip leader. With the GOAT, yeah. With the, with the greatest player in the history of yes. internet poker. That's great, Jeff. Yeah, you're in great shape here. Yeah. And I told you, I like told you to pick him. Yeah, I wasn't was planning I on picking there. You, you want Lena Awesome? Yeah, I guess. What was I thinking? Thank you. Oh. It's not right. Well, someone's going to teach you a lesson. Really? I feel pretty good. Okay, so it won't be me. Lyman Cuervo, Mr. Jeff Platt, Mr. Brent Hanks. Dan, nice to see you guys all the way to the end. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank yes. you all for joining us here on YouTube. Good to be Appreciate here. Appreciate you guys being here.
Appreciate GG for bringing us back, yeah, Jeff. It's bad minute. Hashtag WSOP, see me. Ooh. Mm. Right back to work for Lena. Hey, look at your man opening here with the King Deuce of Hearts. Yeah, I thought maybe Lena would come with a little three bet there. I had a fun one. Jack seven suited, attacked the other big stack, put him in his place. Freedom down to 20 bigs. Knocks a cow the short stack. Started this final table eighth in chips. Has maneuvered his way into at least fifth in $239,000. Darren James says, holy shit, Hanks looks like a different guy. <laughs> Why? What I, What happened? Why? No glasses, maybe? It's it's yeah. not glasses season. That's for the winter months. Got it. Now the sun's shining here in mm. Vegas. I'm outside, you know. Beautiful days. A little shorter hair. Take the glasses off. Still no exercise yet. I'm going to get to that. You're going to get there. Yeah. You want Nutrition's been good, though. You know, we should work out after this. You want to do a little workout? Yeah, I'd love to. Come on by. Come on by the no, house. No, we'll do the mountain. The we'll gym. walk the mountain over here. No, we'll take I don't, a don't want to hike. walk the mountain. I don't want to walk. Why do I just walk on the it's mountain? It's gorgeous out. It's 116. It's, it is a little warm, too. Yeah. It's a little warm. Last hand at this level. No, Darren says, looking fresh, man. It's a compliment. Nice. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, OT man chooses a bigger sizing here. Makes it 10.5 million. Goes three. And after we see this hand unfold, I've got a little bone to pick with everybody out there oh, in wow. the chat, which YouTube. I'm seeing YouTube. I don't have the Twitch stream in front of me, Jeff. Do you have, do I you don't have think, Twitch in front of you? Are, are we on Twitch? We're not on Twitch. I don't know if I, we're on I, Twitch. I, I, I'm on YouTube. Okay. What I see, 1,300 people are watching. Oh, I know where you're going. We with only this. have 98 thumb jobs. Oh, Can we yeah. please, for the love of God, that's a if like you button. want to yeah. do more streams, if you want to hear mm. more, see more coverage, mm. you got to show your support for GG Poker. Like, subscribe to the page. Make sure your notifications are on so every time they're going to go live, you're going to get hit with a notification. Boom. We need as many thumbs up as we can. If Jeff and I are ever coming back, they told us we need a bare minimum 300 thumbs up. That's, I mean, we got to have 300. Okay, knocks the cow all in and at risk with nines. Against Freedom's ace three, and Freedom flops an ace. Knocks the cow looking for a nine. Can you squeeze a four cross? Uh, he just said quick squeeze. I'm done. I'm out of here. Get me out of here. Knocks the cow out in fifth, $239,837. And Brent Hanks, we have our final four. We do. We've made it to the core four. Uh, a pretty sick little beat there. My man from Poland takes one on the chin. Nine's no good. So your two selections, official selections, were eliminated. Then you jumped on board with Noxicow, and Noxicow has been eliminated. What are you I'm not trying saying? To say? There's a common theme here. Well, little did you know that I actually theme. chose Aoti Man, and I wrote oh. it down right here as my official pick. And I just didn't show you that, but it counts. Yeah, it counts. It counts. All right, count it for Aoti Man. Right. Who is effectively tied for the chip lead with Nicholas Aztec. Freedom in SAK in the 20 to 25 big blinds range. Keep those thumbs coming. We're at 170. We got to like, have 300. Like, it's like, 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 it, like, please. Clicking thumbs now. Turn that thumb blue. We got to have it. It Need will turn blue at a certain point. Right. Were you a thumb sucker as a kid, Jeff? I, I don't believe so, actually. I'm going to ask you. As much mother. as that may surprise you. You didn't suck your thumb at all, huh? I don't think so. Not much of one. Were you? No. Sister no. had a real bad thumb sucking problem. Mm. So she was about 16. Is that so? <laughs> no. <laughs> that part is false. Speaking of your family, so. how's your cousin doing? Which cousin? Kristen. Kristen. Sorry, I should have clarified. I mean, I hope all of your cousins are doing well. How's Kristen doing? Particularly that cousin you like. Why is that, Jeff? Yeah, why are you I, Why are you wondering about thinking, that cousin? We're, we were talking family, and I was like, oh, I wonder how Kristen's doing. I haven't checked in mm. on cousin Oh, Kristen you mean my one cousin that has a million 
people on OnlyFans, that cousin? That one yeah, in particular? I, yeah, you're I mean, that about? one yeah. in particular at the time. Well. But again, Jen, we're talking family. Well. Okay, that's yeah, great. She's doing very, very well. Thank give, you for give, asking. Give her I'll my her regards. Know. I'll Thank send you. her your, your regards. I will. Thank you. I'll certainly Appreciate do that. that. Yeah. AOT Man with Queens, by the way. Yep. Back to poker. Back to the action. Talking cousins and thumb sucking. Mm, that's a strange How combo. How we get here? I still don't see three 300 thumbs up. I'm a little oh, you will. They're coming. upset by this. I mean, coming let's pile high. them on top, folks, please. Got to have you. We need you. We need you involved. We need you on our squad. We need you on our team. Just like the winner. Just like the winner of this tournament will be on a team. That's team champions, the first inductee into that team with so many perks. A custom avatar, GG Platinum Fish Buffet, a team champions badge, all the write-ups, all the press. You get a unique affiliate code. You get an online and live tournament entry package valued at more than fifty thousand dollars your entry into the world series of poker main covered by gg your entry into all of these gg online main events covered by gg and wow take a look at this flop as both have flopped a straight S oh boy ak flops the stone cold nutter butters on just a stone rainbow wow. board too i mean here comes the check raise from Aztec. no doubt about it and Aztec is going to take a significant hit for the first time today. There is that check raise. Wow. S loving life right now. Yeah, you wonder. I mean, is does is he just sticking it in out or do we just set the trap, Jeff? You call one time and then you can expect to see a shove on majority of turn cards. There is there that call. Four pairs on the turn. You don't love it, but you're obviously never, ever folding the nuts straight. If he shows you the house, he shows you the house. <laughs> With 77 million in the pot, SAK is 71 million behind. Oh, just oh. a baby bet. Sort of trying to induce, hoping your opponent has a nine. Is that what S that's up to here? If the money goes in, certainly we'll be disgusted to see that he's on the wrong end of a cooler. How to proceed if you're SAK. I mean, could be slightly concerned, to be honest. Like, what did he check raise me with? Still betting. The board is paired. Oh, no. Don't do it to me this way. But if you got it, you got it. Yeah. I'm in there. Not straight. All of it. Aztec makes the call. And we'll see the terrible news as SAK has this one on lock to drag a 220 million chip pot to move into second place. Nicholas Aztec down to third. Wow. wow. Little chink in the armor. What a cooler. Indeed. Richie says, would be good to get a beer with Brent. He's funny AF. I agree with that. I like beer, Richie. I mean, hey, we can do that. He'll Come even to buy. Vegas. Freedom. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now the birds and the small blind. Not just the ace of spades, but the ace of clubs as well. Non all in three bets, 24 million. This looks so strong with that stack size. 3x three bet. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't know if you're going to get any action. Mm -hmm. I'd be shocked if Aztec continues with King 10. Yes, it's pretty. Yes, you're four handed. You want to peel. But you just know if you don't connect, you're, you're folding to everything on the flop. Getting an okay price, obviously, Jeff, but it's, I don't think land is going to continue. Yeah. Does lay it down. Does find the correct fold. You yeah, find those four. awkward stack sizes with aces where, you know, just let, let the, the cards sort of fall where they may and, and yeah. let the poker gods take you where you belong, but <laughs> maybe just flat the aces there in hopes that you can find a way to get it in post flop. 
otherwise that is that how strong does that look yeah. right it, it, and maybe yes that's giving freedom credit for being able to three bet light and was genuinely considering jamming king 10 of diamonds but i i don't think so our final four guaranteed three hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred twenty nine dollars it's a 107k pay jump from fourth to third As that limps in off a little more than 30 bigs with the ace five of diamonds. Could this be a limp shove qualifier? It could be, although I think he's more inclined to just let's go keep post the pot smaller. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he was a little too heavy with not that great of a hand to just limp jam i don't think he expects a lot of people to iso him because of who he is yeah yeah you know ak has sort of had AK's, a smaller resume with average yeah. buy-ins and whatnot I, has been relatively tight through right i don't think he expects to be targeted very often so it's just a good enough hand to limp in and call a raise with ak turns the two-way straight draw in flush draw Fire 26 million. Yeah. I mean, again, it, it, that sort of smashes him, right? And I think Asset's giving AK a lot of credit for having a pretty big hand in that spot. Mm -hmm. For all the reasons we just mentioned. That was a nice bet. You've got the eight of clubs as backup as a little bit of coverage. Freedom defends here, Mrs. Flop. 20 hands per level in this one. We're playing 2 million, 4 million blinds. So about 180 bigs on the table. AOT man, the chip leader. Started this final table in second. Asset started in first. Was running away with it. Has fallen a little bit thanks to a cooler against SAK, who now picks up tens. We'll raise it up here. Ace five off. For AOT man. Play a little D. Yep. Flop a wheel draw. And leads. Interesting. That's a horse of a different color. Don't see that often. As turn a five. Now we're in trouble. Yeah, 38 million in the pot. AK's 10 still best. I think he he the best again. hand here, yeah. Jeff. Yeah. It's time for 20 million. AK just is, is not giving AOT Man a ton of strength. Maybe a little cause for concern here on the three. Does he think AOT Man could have taken this line with some sort of three holding? 78 million now in the pot. There is a world in which this could somehow go check, check. If AK's concerned about him getting a little tricky with a three or maybe had turned a straight with a hand like ace four. Let's see what AK decides to do with two tens here. Giving it some thought for all the reasons we mentioned, I think I wouldn't be surprised if he just settles with a check. It's kind of a strange hand. I just gonna size it up. Thirty-eight. Interesting. So half pot here. Yeah, man, this might work. I mean, Aoti man thinking, well, what, what does he have? What are you? Why are you betting? Wow, nice hold. Very and good. For the, the third time today, we have a new chip leader. This time it's SAK. Asset has had the chip lead. AOT Man has had the chip lead. Now it's AK's approaching that 300 million chip mark. Asset down to 25 bigs. 
freedom down to 20 bigs. And with ace eight here. I would just think Braveheart, I don't know why. With freedom? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. Freedom will take this one down. Yeah. Running, Running hot. hot now. Running hot. King of diamonds for asset on the button. Happy to raise this one up. I want to see Aztec rebuild. Huh? You know, how mm -hmm. does he get it done? Got that sub 30 big blind stack between 20 and 30. How do we continue to accumulate? Does he allow himself to ever dip below the 20 bigs? Obviously, coolers and things happen mm -hmm. where you're just, you can't win them all. What is his playing style in town? And there certainly will be no panic in the mind of Nicholas Asta, who right. has been in this situation many times before. Now, does Aoti man proceed here with the ace jack of hearts in the big blind after AK opens? How about a three bet to 24 million? A little less than 3x. That gets it done. Aoti man, Ness, AK neck and neck for the chip lead. Couple more hands at this level. Blind down blind warfare, Jeff. Yep. Here we go. You love it. Ooh, Nine six spicy. deuce all diamonds. Aoti man as the ten of diamonds. Nicholas Aztec as the king of diamonds. That will fire here. Already man check calls. Twenty two million in the pot. Aztec will check back. Are we about to see a king high call? There is that bluff. Will we see the king high call? Right? I mean, it, it, not a tie. It's okay. You got a nine. Yeah, it's good value bet. Six, clearly a winner. Somehow make a jack. Okay, you got a winner. Otherwise, you're just full of bluffs, and king high is good. And there certainly are a variety of bluffs available. As we can see, there's one of them. <laughs> is it one of those spots where he doesn't want to call but elects to just raise just in case? Man is bluffing with better, which I don't think is the case, but there it does is. make the call with King High. Yeah. So good, Landon. Why he's one of the best, or as you would say, Brent, the best in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, listen, in the conversation uh, as far as no limit hold'em tournaments, MTTs, in the online realm, I have two names that come to mind and two names only. Lena is at the top of my list, and a close second is Chris Mormon. I think mm. they're one and two as far as longevity over the last decade. They've stayed on top of the game, sure. continue to crush. And I know there's so many great online players, but those two are really the ones that, that are just – I mean, who, who's number one, by the way? What's the Brazilian kid that I'm probably not giving enough credit to? Uh, like a Jao Vieira? Is it Jao? Is he actually the all-time winningest player as far as Well, I think Asset is as recently passed him as far as career okay. online right. earnings are concerned. But, yeah, he's right up there. Uh, if Michael Adamo continues at his current pace because he, he wins everything, it seems, then he's going Does. to be right up there. Yeah. Uh, there's so many great players. Sure. There, there really are. But for me, it's those two. And and it's for how long they've been around, you know, the 10-year-plus the span Staying on top of the game, sort of that, that test of time and then continuing to get better. Here we go. Yeah, blinds are up to 2.5 million, 5 million. S raising it up with the jack five of hearts. Freedom, three betting for most of it with the king jack. And Aoti man wakes up in the big blind 
with the ace king of spades. There's the four bet. And here we go. Freedom the one on and at risk, but is behind. With King Jack against the Ace King. Does Ooh, flop a wow. Jack. It comes Queen Jack Nine with two Whoa. spades. Another nine on the turn. River card. Freedom a 68% favorite. That looks like a spade to me, Brent. It does. And it's that's, and that's it. The eight wow. of spades. And AOT Man finds a way to get there. A dramatic run out. And that will do it for Freedom 35 out in fourth place for $319,829. What a score. Hell of a performance by Freedom 35, taking home some uh, assumed life changing money. And just like that, Jeff, we are down to the podium, the final three. Every player guaranteed at a minimum. 426,000 for third, 568 for second, and up top, Jeff, $758,000. My God. Freedom 35 enter the final table, seventh in chips, so it has to be pretty satisfying with that fourth place showing. AOT Man choosing the 3X sizing. Up to more than 340 million now. Aztec entered the final table as chip leader. He is in third with three left. With about 25 bigs. Jeff, you're sort of on the ropes here with your pick. Sort of How's on the feel, ropes buddy? indeed. Well, you would know, so you tell me. Doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. I love this though. After the small mind limps, raising it up with the 10-4 off. Punished, yeah. Getting it done. We'll do that with some of the bad ones and some of the good ones. You know, these guys are thinking, can we please get Lena out of the way? Not just for the 142K jump and prize money. Ooh, kings for both here. Lena's going to be such a tough out. Yeah. Uh, right? He's They're still probably... fine. 25 bigs for Lena. Yeah. Fine. Not going to panic as SAK does turn the wheel draw. 44 million in this pot. OT Man check back and, and Rivers two pair. Interesting. This might get paid off depending on yeah. the size goes a little bit more than half can AOT man get paid off here and extend his chip lead you were questioning my math a second ago weren't you Jeff no I was trying to think about what happened uh, earlier in this hand to be honest. Just defense. I think it went uh, yeah. bet, flop, call. And then check, check on turn. Check, check, turn. And I think that's and then the call, the, check mark on the, and the river. call on the river. Yeah. Kings and jacks for AOT man. Now to 375 million in chips. With a good one in the big blind. About 725 million chips are in play just going to go rip city all you can eat baby yep Aztec lays it down is AOT man starting to run away with this one SAK uh, yes Jeff, he, yeah. he is He's the chip leader. More than a lot of chips, bigs. Jeff. Yep. Well, yep. Mm -hmm. A lot of chips. I don't know math, but I think he's got more than 50% of the chips in play, Jeff. You would be correct. Right. Real math guy. You would be correct. I can't read and I can't do math. Yep. Good poker player. Good analyst. He's Brent Hanks on Jeff Platt, really, by the yeah. way. Hello. Hi. How are you? And Good you can follow you. us on Twitter. Yes, you can. Where? At Buffalo Hanks and at yeah. Jeff Platt. We love followers. Please follow us. What if I wanted to follow GG on Twitter? 
Well, then I would follow him at GG Poker, Jeff. Fantastic. This That's is what great. I would do. Yeah. And you know what else I would do, Jeff? If I were What's watching that? this stream and there are 1,400 people watching this stream, Ooh, thank I you would for click watching. the thumbs up. I oh, yeah. Do, like that, do that. Do I that. Do that. Do that. We have to hit 300 thumbs up on YouTube or they're going to end the stream. So you're going to have to do oh, that very they're soon. They're just going to end it? They're just going to pull the plug. They wow. said they need 300 before break on. or else we're out. Hmm. That's it. So if you guys don't get to 300, you'll never know how this ends. You think I'm bluffing? Find out. Yep. No, I, I don't want to find out if you are or are not bluffing, though. I'd rather just get there and not have anything to right. worry about. You, know? you don't want to question it. Yeah. It's a nice gesture. I mean, you know, As just to follow us. Down to 17 bigs. He'll just go rip city with the threes on the button. That'll get through. Aztec hasn't had less than 100 million chips since day two. Does that even make sense? Yeah, that's right. Okay. That is correct. He entered this final table with 149 million in chips. Fairly sizable chip lead. He was indeed the betting favorite. As you see on the bottom left corner of your screen. And what's the most popular player to bet on? I think it was almost $50,000 yeah. wagered on him. Almost half the money in play. I think it was $100,000 in betting total. Half of it was on Aztec to take Ooh. this thing down. Yogi Man opens here. SAK looks down a couple sixes in the big blind. A7 deuce, one heart. Yeah. Couple backdoor draws for AOT man. We will fire with King High. Jeff, I just want you to know, and everyone at home, my smoke show of a wife just brought me some warm chocolate chip cookies. Oh my God, that sounds amazing, and I am very jealous. Yeah. You strike me as a big chocolate chip cookies guy. Fresh out of the oven. I mean, oh. it's just, yeah. Huh. Mm. I'll be there yeah, soon. Can you send one of the boys? Can you send one of the boys with some cookies to my place? My boys are at the Grand Canyon right now. Oh, that's right. They're wa yeah, they're doing all sorts of stuff out there. Mm. Big trip. Nice warm chocolate chip cookie. From your wife Liz. Excellent. Baker. Always has the good desserts. She's got the goods, Jeff. She's got the goods. Yeah. Stuck with you, but she's got the goods. Oh. A lot of people think I'm a bit of a treat. Yep. <laughs> Say the least. Mm. Queens for S. Speaking of treats, right? Because queens are good. The honeys. Yep. All eyes on Nicholas Aztec. Entered the final table with the chip lead. Yoji Man calling here out of the small blind with the 9 8 of spades, flopping an 8. Couple backdoor draws for SAK. Fires, Yoji Man, not going anywhere just yet. Almost 45 million in the pot. Does SAK continue? The answer is no. Another king on the river. emphatic from you brand on in the chat just click the goddamn thumbs up that's all you know and i love you all but please click like for the love of god please for the love of god yeah that's this gonna try here with jack yeah, high courageous it does make sense that we would have a king with this sort of line i think this works I mean, we're flipping a coin if we're Aoti Man, right? It does Ended make the call heads. with the eight. Great call. Indeed. Back up to more than 400 million in chips. Let's see how Aztec navigates this 15 big blind stack. And limp in. Playing a C3 again. I don't think he expects to get 
raised very often here in these spots. He's got a good one to maybe go barrel, barrel, barrel with. Obviously, AK not giving up 6 7 suited backdoor flush draw, same hand with the gutter. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll make the call another three on the turn. Does Aztec keep on firing here? I think so, Jeff. No. Check. Does AK see the door open? Now what? Not at the moment. Yeah, both players in weird spots with seven high. What's your plan, Lena? Seven high. Just give it up, huh? No help, no love on the turn. Does not want to hemorrhage, lose any more chips. We're going to chop it up, boys. We're going to wow. chop it up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lena is going to be thrilled, to say the least, to chop this one up. This guy can't, he can't lose. I mean, he has lost a lot of chips. You know what I mean. Yeah, he's lost a decent amount. But in that specific scenario, when it went check check, he couldn't lose. There's ace four here with 15 bigs behind. Hmm. The min raise out of the small. Yeah, I don't blind. know if I liked. I mean, if I'm Aoti man, I, I expected a possible just like shove yellow. With 10 6 suited against a guy like Aztec, which I wouldn't hate, by the way, considering the skill sets. You know, you just want to eliminate the guy. If you get it in in a yeah, 60 yeah, 40 yeah. spot, so Whatever. be it. Yeah. But like the 10K, what does that accomplish? You're just building a pot where he's in position, Aztec, and you're opening the door again for him to just move it all in. Just limp. If you're going to do it, either limp or just or, or put them all in. One of the two. A couple more hands at this level. Yodi man gets a walk with the eight high. Same thing here. I, I mean, again, I would limp. I wouldn't put them all in with Jack Deuce, but give yourself a chance to see three. If he raises, who cares? Throw it in the muck. Move on. You have Jack Deuce. Oh, comes five five Deuce. Lena flops trips. Fives and deuces for Aoti Man. About 12 million in the pot. Trouble for the Aoti Man. I'm calling him the Coyote Man. That's good. Very good. Terrible, but I'm gonna. I'm sticking with Pretty it. Pretty bad. He's got the yips. He's howling. Getting better. Check's turn. Of course, it comes to pay off, bitch. Wow, that is a sneaky little check back by mm. Aztec. Allow your opponent to feel like he's got a, the best hand by the river. Try and get one firm street. How much does he look for here? How about 21.2 million. Yeah. Oh, wow, that fold. fold too. Quick Very fold. nice. Very nice. Blinds are up. Three million at six million. The seven hundred fifty thousand chip ante. So about one hundred twenty bigs on the table now. Aztec under twenty bigs. Just rips it here on the button with the King Ten Hearts. Gets through. Ten for a K. Opens here. So ask that not gonna play defense with the eight three suited off of that chip stack. Move on to the next spot. The Ottaway in the chat. What place was Patrick? Well, mm. lower left of your screen, I'll tell you that. Bad news. Ninth place for 75,000. Not what he had in mind today. David Misikowski out an eighth.
for a little more than 100k promo king eliminated in seventh for 134,870 dollars fabian spielman eliminated in sixth place for about 180k knocks a cow out in fifth freedom 35 out in four final three guarantee 426,499 dollars about a 142k pay jump from third to second up top in this one more than 758 thousand dollars Asphet will raise it up blind versus blind with the Jack-9. Just knows he's got the goods. SAK will call it the Jack-5 of clubs. Blocked one club. I would expect a typical sort of down bet. There it is, 86 or 8.6 million. That'll work. Yeah, nice. As to fighting the good fight, as our short nice. stack is still comfortable, about 20 bigs. And new one finds a way to stay in it. Another walk for Aoti Man, our chip leader. Three million, six million blinds, and that's a break for our players. And that is going to be a break for us as well. Three players remain at the World Series of Poker Circuit main event final table. More than 758K up top. We're back in about four and a half minutes. Stay with us. Waiting to come back to the final table. Fedor holds things. Oh my. God. Michael Otamo is the best. And our main event winner will be inducted into Team Champions. What do you know, Brent, about Team Champions? Nothing, Jeff, but you know who does? Mm. Daniel Negreanu. The poker dream is alive. All you got to do is win the World Series of Poker Circuit main event, and you become the inaugural inductee to Team Champions, where there's tons of perks. Custom Avatar, GG Platinum Fish Buffet, Team Champions bad write-ups. Online seats, live seats, packages, $50,000 in total value. Most importantly, exclusive party invites during the live events where you can have yourself a drink with me and maybe I'll even buy. For more information, make sure you follow GG Poker. Brent, how about that? Team champion. Sounds nice. Oh, the prestige, mm. the legacy. Mm. Jeff, if you have what it takes, it comes with a lot of benefits. everybody, Daniel Grano here with some good news from the GG Poker Network. We've been preparing a promotion for the new year called GG Care. As any poker player might know, sometimes you find yourself in what we call unfortunate situations, you know, some ugly bad beats, right? Well, that's where GG Care comes in. GG Care will take care of you with huge prize pools available every day. Let's see how you can get your GG Care benefits. Aces versus kings. Yep, all in before the flop. I mean, nobody's going to fold that, right? That's just a setup. It's a cooler. I can't imagine being, you know, at the final table of the World Series of Poker heads up and this happening to me. It's just brutal. Bad beats should never be a thing, but eh, they are. Thanks, GG. I flop the top set. Very nice. Some fucking idiot chases a runner runner straight to suck out on me. Unbelievable. But in my darkest moment, GG Care was there. Thanks, GG. Flop the second nut set. The middle set on the flop. It's an impossible cooler. How can you be beat there? The guy has top set. Nobody's folding that. Sometimes it just feels unfair. 
Thanks, Gigi. As you can see, in the most unfortunate of situations, Gigi Care will appear for you. Are you curious how to get these benefits? Don't worry, you don't even have to lift a finger. First, simply enjoy the game as usual. Whenever something unfortunate happens, Gigi Care will be there. Secondly, when confronted with such circumstances, GG Care automatically will register you into a flip out tournament with a huge prize. Just check the pop up window. Thirdly, take a rest, have yourself a nap, get yourself a good night's sleep, clear your mind of all the bad beats, and when you wake up, the daily GG Care prizes will be waiting for you. That's all there is to GG Care. Pretty simple, isn't it? Just play the game as normal, and GG Care will take care of you. And the prize money will only grow more and more in the future. So keep your eyes posted and good luck, everybody. I hope you don't have too many bad beats, but if you do, GG Care will be there. Thanks, GG. Uh, yes, our thanks to Daniel Negreanu. How about that GG care, that 30K free roll daily? You get a bad beat, you're automatically registered into the next day's free roll. It is a beautiful thing. The more bad beats you take, the more chips you get in the free roll. And Brent, how about this to kick off our action post break as Aoti man, as aces in the small blind? Yeah. How shall we proceed? Aztec with a playable one in the Ooh, big. Baby. Aoti man just limps in. Aztec will check. Queen, queen, three with one club. Three players remain in the World Series of Poker Super Circuit Series main event. All three guaranteed $426,499. I mean, considering a call with Jack High, yeah, that, that's yeah. sort of what I thought. With now 32 million in the pot, what does Aoti Man look for here? Keeping him honest, and I can't imagine we're going to call again. Hot size On bet. River. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, Lynn is probably not going to call, but definitely considering it, right? Mm -hmm. I would never, your opponent is never betting ace high, never betting king high which effectively is like, oh, okay, well, Jack High might be good, but that sizing, 33 million pot, does, it, does your opponent have it in them? Is that something that you're seeing, that you've seen before along the way? My guess is no, probably almost a value, yeah. or it is value every time. After you just looked him up with King High and you were right. Right, yeah. And that hand played remarkably different than what we just saw there. Trips for SAK, the gut shot for Azted, who will lead. We've seen this before. So we just set the trap at 4AK. We've got trips. I, you don't want to blow them off it, right? Right. J just call. Ooh, it does raise to 19.2 million. this work does Aztec just think well there's no way he's got three now that's it game over Aztec with queens on the button oh hey, man Brent with your deuces yeah and the big blinds Michael Aztec nuts comes here. In for he the man nuts. and AOT man does ship it Aztec happy to make the call and here we go if the Queens hold Aztec would be back up to more than 182 million just has to dodge a deuce on the river. We'll squeeze it. And it's a seven on the river. And just like that, back in business for the best online tournament player in Nicholas Aztec. You like that? I just said the best. I was about to say one of the best. I just went with the best. Yep. Up to 30 bigs. About 120 bigs on the table. Flopping a five, backdoor straight flush draw. Backdoor flush and straight draws for SAK. We 
a fire for 11.4 million here. I like you guys in the chat encouraging me to have a glass of vino. A little early probably for the vino, 134 Vegas time. But I what time just you appreciate think you're gonna, the love. Uh, yeah, what time is wine o'clock for you? Uh, eh, so when the sun starts to set, when it just starts oh. to move down. Okay, well, the sun may be setting right now. Yeah, how about this I ace of hearts yeah, on the this. turn? Aztec with the fives and the flush draw. Okay, the top pair. By the way, as we see this hand continue, we have an official chat pro in here. Goes by the names of Audi S6. Oh, thanks for tuning in, Audi. He is our number one chat pro today. Nice. You're the Congratulations. winner. Congratulations. Yep. Clearly That's hard a tremendous to do. player. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Cool car, though. Let's check, check, and SAK will take a pretty sizable pot here. Neck and neck for that chip lead with AOT Man. Aztec's momentum takes a bit of a hit. Throughout the month of June, GG giving it away $7.7 .7 million. Just giving it away. Beautiful. What a massive tournament. I mean, yeah. 500 bucks to win 750000 plus. Jesus. Four ball on the river. 14,496 entries, a prize pool of more than $7.2 million after an ambitious $5 million guarantee. Guaranteed just smash. Our chip leaders with about 50 bigs, Nicholas Aztad, who entered the day as the chip leader, about 20. Coyote Man pops a three here. Colin should still be drinking from the Golden Knights win. But you're, you you're a Golden Knights fan. You had him at four to one to win the cup. They, they showed signs of life last night. You talking to me with this? Yeah, yeah, with yeah. hockey. I mean, you know, if they continue to put the puck in the net, Jeff. Yeah, that'd be good. They can't be stopped. Okay, good analysis. Hockey, hockey and soccer, the two games where just for whatever reason those sports they don't like scoring. Not a lot of offense. Not a lot of, it yeah. doesn't happen often. I saw too much scoring from Kawhi Leonard last night, so yeah, the no offense thing is fine with me for a little bit. Jack's on the button for SAK. Aztec will defend. Ace, deuce, four, all clubs. Swing and a miss for Lena. Check another ace on the turn. It's actually a comfortable card. You have two jacks, believe it or not, Jeff. Very unlikely your opponent has an ace. Feeling pretty good about two jacks in the club. Maybe go for a little V-town. In the form of a 16.8 million chip bet. and take it for AOT. Yeah, and you know what? Hey, listen, while we do this raise and take it, Jeanette Bull just reminded me of something. I want everybody in the chat to wish my no, no. my my colleague here, Jeff Flat, a very happy birthday. Yesterday, he turned the ripe old age of? Old. The ripe old Thank age you of very old, much. Jeff Thank you. Flatt. Yep. It was his birthday yesterday, so everybody Thank in the you. chat, how about a very That's nice, That's not necessary. Warm, happy birthday, Jeff. Appreciate you that. Know, type it in not there not necessary we are here for the yeah. poker we are here for a pair of nines for aot man thank you yeah uh, let's sorry. go Make now we can blush, move on everybody. thumbs up like and happy birthday for jeff get us to level 300 that's his birthday present yes. from all yes. of you yes okay home. that's fine that's fine we that's need fine 300 quick likes, 25 away the likes yeah. can substitute for the birthday wishes that'd be great thank you thank you thank you 
Thank you. Yep. Happy birthday to Jeff Platt. No doubt has a very nice date lined up this evening. Going to be hitting the street. Where are you going to head tonight, Jeff? Not Who's the quite lucky sure. lady? Not quite sure and no comment at this time. You playing a little Tinder roulette? <laughs> yeah, Tinder. They do need to add that into Tinder, the roulette yeah. feature. Good for you. Terrible idea. Well, I hope you uh, have a nice long night, if you know what I mean. Thank you. <laughs> Just mean a lot of cocktails at the bar? No. No? no. Pair of tens for you, man. Ooh. Thank you guys for the kind words and for the thumbs up. Click that like button. Click subscribe. AOD man takes down that pot. Line's going up in a couple hands. Ace Queen of Hearts here on the button. SAK with the 7 3 of diamonds. Defense. Defense. Yeah, you got a C3. He's lost a lot of time. AK has definitely uh, been in the tank. Once that game clock is out, oh, you have five seconds per decision. So he makes it 34.8 million with the 7 3 of diamonds. AOT makes the call with the ace queen of hearts. It comes 5 3, deuce two hearts. Wheel draw and flush draw for AOT, man. But for now, S is threes are best. And now in a pretty inflated pot here, betting one third, almost 25 million. Yeah, this is sort of unnecessarily blown up out of proportion, and now bingo for yeah, the Coyote Man. 124 million now in the middle. SAK probably thinking, what have I gotten myself into? Yeah, it's extremely awkward. It's kind of like your date this evening. <laughs> uh, that's good. Can't even argue that point. No, you're smooth. Let's face it's it. Smooth, smooth, smooth. SAK betting half pot here. The call by OT man. Another five on the river. Now 248 million in the pot. The biggest pot we've seen today. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know what we're, I don't know why we'd be betting the river, and he does shut it down. Yeah, wow, just, the just... snap check back by Aoti man. Maybe concerned that his opponent somehow had kings or, or yeah, if it's getting aces, weird with it, yeah, something hmm. strange. Yeah. Well, Aoti man, all of a sudden, is four hundred twenty-five million in chips. Wow. Yeah, running away with it. Ak down to less than thirty bigs. I mean, not great there to go into blast off mode. Raise and take Howdy, it here. again, our number one chat bro this afternoon. He yeah. says, Hanks, I'd like you to uh, talk more about poker, please. You know, Howdy, I don't know oh, if you've been watching now. the entire final table. I think you have because I've seen your really intelligent comments. Uh, we have been talking a little bit about poker. Just a touch. Yeah. It's been a hint at poker talk. Blinds go up. This is poker related. 3.5 million, 7 million with an 850,000 chip ante. Okay, Brent, we got there on the likes, I think. Oh, no, maybe we didn't. No, we're short. Oh, we sorry, sorry. We're 11 we short. We we're almost there. That's all you wanted for your birthday. 300 yeah, likes. Yeah. Rob says, hey, Jeff, you ever been on a Tinder date and the chick gives you an invoice at the end? I mean, the invoice, I guess, comes in the form of a check sometimes, but I haven't, no. Usually you get a feel of they will require payment before the date takes place. And then I say, no, I just want to let the record show that one second. No. Not at all. But I'll I think you're going to get lucky tonight, buddy. Ooh, pretty one for yeah. AK. I mean, I just, I hate calling in this spot. 
you're just destroyed if you lose uh, in the muck. Asted and AK now effectively tied for second. And with three good hands here, Aote Man with nines, Aztec with the King Queen of Clubs, SAK with Ace Jack of Spades, and Aote Man just rips it. Wow. For a little bit more than 20 bigs effective. Wow. Tell you this what, is a pretty I mean, this, good this, one. This could just go, I mean, obviously Aztec has to fold his hand, but yeah. this might somehow just go full fold where AK throws Ace Jack suited into the muck. Whereas if it had just been a standard min raise, I think this would have played out drastically different. Really tough spot. Saying what? What would he do that? It's got to be a small pair, right? We're flipping. Would he ever do that with Ace Ten, Ace Nine, Ace Eight suited? Unlikely, Jeff. At least in my mind. Wow. AK find the call here, and if so, we're flipping for a big one. Is it time to gamble? What do you mean, just the open shove on the button with the nines? All right, there's call. the just Here one time emoji. Yep, go. does make the call. 313 million in the middle. SAK, the one all oh in and at risk. Jack nine for the set of nines for Aote Man and SAK's wow. day is done. Wow, Ooh. I fought and fought and tanked and tanked and really had to come to a huge decision there. Jeff, I'll tell you what. That money was going to go in no matter how that hand played. Top yeah, pair, true, top kicker true. at the end of the day. Here we go. We are heads up for all and, of it, baby. Yeah, hard to fault him there for, for making that call. Does exit in third for $426,499. Yeah, Brent, you said it. Here we go. Heads up. $758,443 up top in this one, along with the WSOP circuit ring, along with your induction into team champions. Aztec, he's got his back up against the wall. The short yeah. stack coming in. But you know who's got a lot of experience playing heads up in poker tournaments? Aote Man. No, I figure 50-50 shot. 50-50 shot, I get it. Aztec, Jeff, has oh, a lot oh. of <laughs> Got it. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Don't will count fire this here. guy out. Just jack eye. And that will work. Perhaps settle in for a long one. Although we know Aote Man just likes to get the chips in free, which is the smart strategy, you got to say, against a guy like Nicholas Aztec, heads up. Don't think you want a long, drawn-out match if you're Aote Man. Yeah, I mean, if you're up against, even my personal strategy against a guy like, like Aztec would be high variance, right? Yeah. I, I, I don't want him to try and nickel dime me and pick me apart. If I get a decent hand, I'm putting him all in. Okay, you, I'm going to force you to call off. If I'm fortunate enough to have a chip lead, you're the one that's got to make the decision. Yeah, we're not going to play a lot of small pots here if you're facing Nicholas Aztec. There we go, Brent. More than 300 likes. Thank you, guys. We very much appreciate it. Thank you Beautiful. all so much for being here. Heads up for the title. Good little rush to start things off for Nicholas Aztec. He's going to take it for AOD, man. 20 hands per level, still playing 3.5 million, 7 million blinds. 850,000 chip ante. AOD, man, choosing the 3x sizing free. I don't like that. Just play the big pots against Mr. Aztec. Gets it done with 10 high there. The 
back and forth we go. Mm -hmm. And you just, I don't know, man, you have that, you sort of have that vibe that once that gets in these spots, doesn't lose very often, Jeff. And you especially think right now with Aztec at about 20 bigs, it'll be a little less when the blinds go up, of course, uh, that if he does get one double up, then it's really game on. If he doubles up, I, I think he's a significant favorite to, yeah. to go ahead and, and wrap it up and win this thing. I mean, obviously, coolers happen. Sure, sure. Firing off with the nine deuce and getting it done. Three hands left at this level. Sixes for Aztec. It's in here. Seven, four, three. I step firing the minute wins. Wow, look at this adjustment, a 3x. Yeah, 3x, yeah. I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what I was commenting on last time he was on the button, did the same thing. <laughs> you want to play the what big pots against Mr. Azta. What did you say? Well, I just said he changes his sizing preflop to 3x. I basically said what you said. Did he Just do earlier. it with a hand like four six? Uh, yeah, he did it with ten six. Much ten, better eight. hand. Ten eight. Much better hand. <laughs> totally different. It's heads up. I got to get in my shots. There we go. Against you quickly. Yeah. Just ripping with the ace ten blinds going up. Four million, eight million with a one million chip ante. Aztec with fifteen million, with fifteen big blinds. Excuse me, behind. Thank you, Jason, for the kind words in the chat. Very much appreciate that. It's very nice of you to say. Yeah, Daniel, no age discrimination for me on dates. I mean, you know, within a range, of course. Shouldn't have opened that door. You mean, wait a minute. Are you talking about for your dating life? Yeah. Let me ask you something. Pair of fives for Aztec who fires and wins. What's the oldest gal you've ever gone out on a date with? Um, probably. Do you have a guess? I think I have it. Yeah, I have it. I'd go like 44. Okay, 42. 42, yeah. Yeah. Thoughts? It was fine. She was very nice. <laughs> what about the youngest? Uh, I mean, like when? Like when I was a senior in college, I went on a date with a sophomore in college. Uh, last last so, couple years. Last, last couple, couple of years. years. Last couple of years, probably 24. Look at you. <laughs> wide range. That's what you've taught me. Speaking of wide range. Poker in life. Fun one here. Estet with the key card in his hand. He's got the six. And just a snap fold by the Jack Seven for Aoti Man. Nice little play. You know that was going to be barrel, barrel, by the way. Mm -hmm. Estet. Nine of hearts here, queen six of diamonds for a teammate. And flops trips, six of hearts, back to our straight plus draw for Aztec, who will fire. And we'll turn right. seven. Probably slowing down if I'm Aztec, right? What am I getting called by? Interesting. Very interesting. I, I would assume my opponent has an ace, maybe trips. 
maybe for the times you're, you're trying to extract value from smaller pairs, but what are we targeting? Like a stubborn king high where we are trying to eke out a little value? I guess we bet snap fold. But yeah. There we go. Get away from it fairly cheaply. I think there's also a chance in that sort of situation, Jeff, where you can bet very small in the turn. If you do get called, you can easily just go check, check on river. Yeah, Whereas yeah, if you yeah, check turn, you may be facing a larger river bet that you don't really want to face. It's like blocking totally a right. river bet. In yeah. Sense. Almost a five to one chip lead for AOD man here. difference of about $190,000 between first and second. Ten deuce goes with the three X. Aztec does make the call with the 10 eight, does flop the gut shot. 50 million in the pot, just like that. AOD man will fire 20 million, putting the pressure on. Aztec check shoves. He loves 10 8. Yep. Quite a critical pot with the 10 8. Late in day two. Help him get here. Nice play there. Take down a pretty big pot. Up to more than 20 bigs. And forth we go. These were the uh -oh. top two to enter the day. Kings for Aztec. Give the man a premium. Uh -oh. oh, and Aote Man flops a pair of tens. Has a backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw as well. Same can be said for Aztec to go along with his Kings. 34 million in the pot. That's about one third. Man, check call. Six of diamonds on the turn. Flush draw for Bo. Another check. This bet is this for 31.5 million. You, just, you have too much of a hand here. The 10 yeah. with the 10 of diamonds. Let's make the call. Another five on the river. That's just trouble, major trouble for Iote Man. He's got, in his mind, a pretty good bluff catcher. Aztec has a pot size bet behind. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And does fire it all off. There we go. Iote Man is. does make the call relatively quickly. And just like that, we're just about all square at the World Series of Poker wow. Circuit main event. Wow. Welcome back, Ooh. Lena. Mm. So good. And just a pure board for him, too, to get yeah. max value. How do you like his sizing there? Just left himself with that pot size bet perfect, oh so perfectly. Man. Just perfect. Oh, overlay, Jeff. Oh, baby. Let's get in. About a 20K overlay. Yeah. Maybe a good check back. Yeah, we're going to – I think he considered. Yeah, he's so sick. He was considering trying to eke out a little bit of value for the five. How are you feeling about your pick now, Jeff? You've got the chip lead again. You yeah, feel pretty good about yourself? Yeah, fantastic with the best in yeah. the world. First in chips. Um.
Diamond does take down that bot. Ace Queen for Aztec. Taking him, defends with the 8 7, misses flop. Coyote Man raises it up with the queen. Jack uh -oh. does flop a pair of queens. Aztec does flop a flush draw. Not gonna it's go more than half pot here. Right. Aztec check calls, turns a deuce to go along with that flush draw. This is how Aztec does it. The running ducks trick. Fifty six million this time. Oh, the ten of hearts on the river. The flush comes in for Aztec. It Just goes a, check, check. A massive pot headed in the direction of Nicholas Aztec. Wow. A Iody Man has to feel so deflated right now. Yeah. Now a two to one chip lead two for Aztec. Critical pots that he's lost now to Aztec. Could have considered folding when he had the 10 9 yeah. on the uh, river. But that spot, nothing he could do about it there. Good check back on the river. Jeez. This kid is just a monster. Aztec. Oh, boy. Oh, jacks for Aote, man. The open ender for Aztec. Don't put a queen out there. Are we gonna one see, third here. Are we going to see a queen out there? We're going to see a nine yeah. out there. Pair of nines in the open ender for Aztec. The open ender to go along with the jacks for Aote, man. 56.4 million in the pot. It's a blank on the river. Little value town for Iote Man. Here we go. 44 million. I would be hard pressed to believe that Aztec's going to look him up with a nine. Do you ever consider going bananas? I don't think so. No. Nice pickup for Iote Man. Perhaps gives him back a little confidence as you see the blinds are going up. 5 million, 10 million with a 1.25 million chip ante. Little more than 70 bigs on the table. Aztec out flops Aote Man here. Fires a little more than one third. Aztec calls. Deuce of clubs on the turn with 72.5 million in the pot. Check, check. God, if Aztec geeks a little now, that's going to go check. If he bet, he, he had a fun hand to maybe consider calling ace high with, considering the number yeah. of draws it would have missed. Six of hearts for Aztec, who raises here ace seven for Aote Man with 20 bigs. Makes the call, flops an ace. Aztec does flop a six. This is where things get weird. The old sneaky two pair. Not on the turn. Not yet. <laughs> Safe for Aote Man. Maybe we check back with the six, allow ourselves to yeah. get to the river. There we go. Doesn't go for any value on the river, mm -hmm. Iody Man. I'm sort of surprised. Yeah, you'd think maybe a little gun shot. A lot of misses there that Aztec yeah. would have to look up.
About a two to one chip lead for Nicholas Aztec. Closing in on that first place prize of $758,443. I'll tell you what, our chat is still caught up on that. I know, Jack I see that. Hand. Gee, guys, you can just let this one go. You know, uh, we got can watch this heads up battle. We don't need to think about that hand any longer. I don't really fault the call. I don't care if he yeah, pulled it great. If he called, though. okay. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's probably close to neutral. Someone just put it in the old stove thing. Yeah. The old solve. Especially considering you're playing next to one of the best in the world. Hey, give me that spot. And just, yeah, just put the chips on. in. Oh. And you win great. Computers do this stuff. I mean, let, let yeah. the computer tell you what to do. Can't be that bad. Uh, I guarantee no, it. No. Lena leaning on AOD man. Limps in here. He said eight, one club. Check, check, and Astad finds a five on the turn. We go for it. I think we do. Yes. We shall. We shall. And wow, that works. Too. Well done. That did work. Nice sizing. Coyote man back up to over 233 million. All right. Well, six. Well, yeah, I flopped him. There's 25 million in 42.5. Are we about to see something filthy? No. All right. He had a kind of a decent hand to, to do yeah. it with, with the eight of diamonds. But don't you also feel like Asta just probably has no reason to go into super uh, he filthy doesn't. mode? Yeah, I, but we haven't seen anything really like that yet. And I, yeah. I, think, I think you nailed it, though, Jeff. It's like, okay... Second. really isn't necessary. I have a pretty big yeah. edge. Play relatively Probably standard. Fine. Standard in his yeah. mind. Some playables here. 6-3 deuce. Two diamonds. Aztec as the king of diamonds. Checks back ace on the turn. Checks back again. Four diamonds on the river. Just go so check, check. Good. Knows right that where he's at. Up. Yep. Five million, ten million blinds. Nicholas Aztec entered the final table as chip leader. Took a big hit with four players left, but has rallied to retake that chip lead. And every single chip in the middle from AOT man with the sixes. Six of spades makes the call. Ten seven four two diamonds. Aztec flops the flush draw. Yeah, and a fighting chance, obviously, for Aoni Man. I, I don't necessarily think he should be giving up here. There we go. King of spades on the turn. Flush draw here. Flush draw for both. And a fun spot for Aztec. Yes, we have a flush draw. A lot of times you want to go checking here, but this kind of hits our range where we should be two barreling. Size it up. He does size it up, makes it 55 million. And Iote Man, decision time, right? Can we, we can easily rip it, or we can just elect to call and take that value to the dome and whiff city for the spades. The diamonds come in for Nicholas Aztec. Aztec. And take a look at the numbers, too, Jeff. He set up this river yeah. shove again. 179 in the middle, yep. 156 behind for his opponent. Gets it done. Beginning to pull away. All of 
it with the eights. Aztec also close to another signature win. Number one on the all time money list for the Super Millions tournament. Oh, this will help Aoti, man. Not Swap bad. In the Stone Colds. Not bad. Don't raise. Right. Don't raise, Aoti, man. Set the trap. Does raise. It's a 25 million, and Azta just quickly folds away the, or throws away the pair. Every time you check raise those spots, you're just you have to be cooling the guy, you know, yeah. like or it's pretty much it. Or just raise and hope he somehow has a, a value hand to continue with. We are at that stage of the tournament, folks. Yeah. He has so many chips, it covers up his cards when he puts the whole stack in the middle. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, same. Let's see it again here. So many denominations. Put it in the middle there. Let me see how tall your stack is. Hey, Odie, man. Oh, she's just oh. the race. Surprised that asset didn't peel there. Five four off against a min raise? That can't Maybe be that bad, right? Send something weird after all the shoves. Yeah. Asset does flop a five here. See was the one limping in. Blinds going up. Six million, twelve million with a one point five million chip ante. That's gonna put AOD man in just about the danger zone. He's fine, Jeff. Yeah. He's just giving this one up, Jack. Yeah, Good showdown. No nice little pot. Again, about a $190,000 difference between second and first. There's that chip stack covering up his cards. Oh, my. All those denominations. And AOD oh. Man makes the call with go. the King Seven of Spades. And here we go. We go. AOD Man, the one who is at risk, flops oh. a King, but Aztec flops an Ace. Aztec, oh, so close to that title. We'll squeeze it. It's paint. Oh. It's a queen. Oh. On the river, quite the sweat on the river, but that is it. Nicholas Aztec, one of the best in the game, gets it done, winning the World Series of Poker Super Circuit Series main event for more than $758,000. And Brent, what a showing from Aztec. It's amazing, Jeff. I mean, considered by most to be the greatest player right now in MTTs and online poker, and he comes out and he wins this main event that had more than 14,000 people in it. I mean, that that's unheard of. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Comes in as the chip leader, goes wire to wire, takes home all the money. It's another signature win in the career of one Lena 900, Nicholas Aztec. Let us wrap things up by taking a look at our leaderboard. The day started with our guy, Patrick Tardif. Egyptian eliminated in ninth for more than $75,000. David Misikowski out in eighth for about 100K. Promo King eliminated in seventh, played well, won almost $135,000. Fabian Spielman Busto in sixth for about 180K. Noxical out in fifth for almost $240,000. Freedom 35 out in fourth. SAK out in third. AOD Man Valiant Effort finished in second for about $569,000. And Nicholas Azet, our winner. $758,443. He wins all that cash. He wins a World Series of Poker Circuit ring. And he is our very first induction into team champions. Here's what it means to be a part of that team.
and our main event winner will be inducted into Team Champions. What do you know, Brent, about Team Champions? Nothing, Jeff, but you know who does? Mm -hmm. Daniel Negreanu. The Poker Dream is alive. All you gotta do is win the World Series of Poker Circuit main event, and you become the inaugural inductee to Team Champions, where there's tons of perks. Custom Avatar, GG Platinum Fish Buffet, Team Champions Bad write-ups, online seats, live seats, packages, $50,000 in total value. Most importantly, exclusive party invites during the live events where you can have yourself a drink with me and maybe I'll even buy. For more information, make sure you follow GG Poker. Brent, how about that? Team champion, sounds nice. Oh, the prestige, mm. the legacy. Mm. Jeff, if you have what it takes, it comes with a lot of benefits. Yeah, how about that? Negranu buying drinks for us all, right? That's for all I'll of us, what, just for anybody man, included. What a party, right? I yeah. mean, you got Daniel going to go out drinking. You got Lena going to go out. The All the GG folks are going, Jeff, can we get an invite? Can we be a I, part I don't of this, know. Please? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can just kind of stand outside the bar and hope to be dragged in. Congratulations once again to Nicholas Azt had a tremendous showing, winning that ring, winning more than seven hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars, and winning an induction into Team Champions. A fitting start to the formation of that team. Thank you all at home so much for watching. We very much appreciate it. We got to give a major shout out to our crew. They are the best. We got producer Simon producer James, all of our mods in the chat. You guys have been awesome. Our Korean team, Ishan and DK. DK Metcalf, right, Brent? Let's go, baby. It's, it's DK Metcalf for sure. Uh, thanks to Brent Hanks. But again, most importantly, thank you all for watching. We so, so appreciate it. We will see you next time. Our World Series of Poker Super Circuit Series main event winner is Nicholas Aztec. Have a great one, everybody. Happy birthday, Jeff. Ace on the turn. Ace is full for Aztec. River card. Egyptian. Times to the seven. Or a jack to stay alive. And it is not a seven. It is not a jack. Oh, that is cool. And that does it for Patrick Carter, the UV squad member. He gets the majority of turn cards. All of it. Aztec makes the call. The terrible news as SOK has this one on lock to drag a 200 point. Flyers have a chance to not going anywhere just yet. It's 45 million in the pot. That's a lot of nominations. And Aoti Man makes the call with the King 7 of spades, and here we go. Aoti Man, the one who is at risk, flops the King, but Aztec flops an ace. Aztec, oh so close to that title. Squeeze it. It paints. It's a queen on the river. Quite the sweat on the river, but that is it. Nicholas Aztec, one of the best.